fun. Okay, guys, let's get this started. Continue. <laughs> you might want to chill out on that legend. That is true. And that was the first time. That's weird. Oh, I'm going back this way. I forget where we left off. We just got the last of those colored stones. So what I'm trying to do now, let me check out a map to remind myself of where we are. We're in one of these areas towards the end. Um, I'm just trying to get back to a teleporter. I want to get here because I think this is where I use the stones. Hey, worth it, Relentless, worth it. Oh, it's about a three hour drive. You could do that potentially in one day, but it's tough. I've definitely done that where I've gone to like theme park or a concert that was, you know, three, four hours away and drove back afterwards. But it can be dangerous. <laughs> Make sure you're not too tired. Oh, that's fun. So you get to heal yourself while you're healing everybody else. I love that 99. How do I play this game? I feel like I've forgotten everything. Oh, no, you don't. There we go. Gosh, I'm already healing. 14 hour drives. That's when you're going to Mexico, right, LB? Oh, that's rough. That is rough. I don't think I've ever driven 14 hours in one day. When I go visit my parents, it's like an all day thing, but not 14 hours. That fire is brutal. Maybe if I do this dodge, maybe that gets rid of the fire? I'm not sure. Okay, let me double check the map. I didn't see which map it was, but... Is this the area? I don't see my fox anywhere. That's Frog's Domain. I'm not there. That's when it's like really dark. Maybe I actually don't have the map to this area. I might not. Oh, dang, Legend. I've never had to do that kind of repair before. Good luck. That sounds terrifying. Well, yeah, what time is the concert over, I guess? Usually when I go to a concert and I'm going to drive home afterwards, it's like 10 o'clock at night, 1030. And that's not too bad. But if I had to be driving at four or five in the morning, I would not. I just get a hotel. There we go. Oh, they hurt me even if I am blocking, I think. I think they can catch me on fire regardless. Okay. I see how it is. I actually don't think I've explored this entire area. We kind of found the boss prematurely, maybe? Oh, no. Ah, you got me. I definitely need to spend more time dodging than I do. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, wait. I can shoot that thing, can't I? There we go. Gosh, I hate all these guys' fire. Oh, he dropped some coins. Oh, then for that case, yeah, it might be smarter just to do that. I don't know if there's like a, uh, what would you call it? Like a encore, not encore, but a uh, opener for that. In which case the actual thing you're looking forward to might start even later. Can I just drop this guy in the water? You absolutely can. Although when you do that, you do not get the money, unfortunately. Oh, ouch. I didn't mean to swing that wide. This place is brutal. Screw this fire. Dang. Well, what kind of processor is it, uh, Legend? I'm guessing it's probably a fairly new one. There's a chest down here. We should see if there's one on the other side, too. Maybe something over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, another one of these. I don't know what that does. 
Not a cheap processor, not like top of the line, but still, if you can save it, that would be good. Now, these things, I think, take me to this, like, area where it looks like you can get upgrades, but I can't reach them because they're kind of, um, just out of reach. I feel like I need some new ability to jump. Oh, maybe that's what that is. Hold on. It kind of looks like wings, didn't it? Here it is, right here. What if I switch to this? Can I jump now? Unfortunately, I don't know how to do that. Hey, other guy, welcome back. Good to see you, dude. Well, we made pretty good progress in the previous stream. I managed to get all three of the artifacts. Now I'm just trying to get out of this place so I can actually use those artifacts. And I also just got um, this new tarot card ability thing right here that looks like wings almost. And I was thinking, ooh, what if that would allow me to jump? But I still don't see a way of doing that, unfortunately. Oh, maybe there's like another button, trigger. I don't think it's like a new ability though. You must not be that into music, 99. There's a lot of bands I would love to see live or see them again. Maybe the hexes, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Just the three colored items that you collect from the big bosses. Come on, let me go over. Dang, okay, we still haven't figured that out yet. Uh, maybe that has something to do with uh, stamina. I wonder if I use less stamina with this. Um, we can check the instructions, however, probably doesn't tell me. The name of it is Anklet. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Wait, why'd you come back? I thought I killed you. Oh, no, I knocked him in the water. He didn't actually die. Okay. Oh, I should grab that. Yeah, you might have to wait a little bit longer to get some instruction manual that actually teaches you how to cross those gaps. Or if I could jump up there somehow. How do I get up there? Is there something behind here? No. Yeah, 16 and a half hours. So I don't think I'd go drive that far to see any band 99. But being in California, it's generally pretty easy to find a band playing pretty close by. Oh, nice. Andy kind of does that too. It drives me crazy where she will listen to one band, a few songs over and over and over. And I, I introduce her to some music. I'm like, hey, this is great. You should listen to this. And then she overdoes it. And I'm like, I'm over it. I can't stand this song anymore. Where'd that guy go? Oh, I think he's hiding up there. Oh, other guy. Thank you so much for the follow. I'm impressed you found this channel again. If you weren't following. Oh, a save point. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. We were running low there. Oh, here's our... No, that's not a teleporter, is it? That's something else. Oh, wait. Is that the teleporter up there? Or is that just a power thing I turned off? It might just be a power thing. Legend, you are far too kind, dude. You are far too kind. And for me, music is all about the vibes. Um, if I'm in a certain mood, I wanna listen to a certain kind of music. Like when I'm working, I prefer music that has no lyrics because I can kind of focus on the music itself and I don't get distracted by like singing along to it. But if I'm driving, it's the opposite. I usually prefer something a little bit more up-tempo. Hey, I didn't catch on fire, that was nice. I wonder if I can get up to that now. <laughs> I appreciate it, other guy. Well, I guess one subtle clue I might want is now that I have that anklet, am I missing something basic that I should be able to reach some things that are just kind of like a 
long jump away, or am I still missing something key? <laughs> nice. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely have bands like that where I can listen to everything that they've made. And then there's other bands where it's like you, you hear a couple songs you really like by them and then you get the album and the rest of their music. You're like, mm, I don't know. Not really for me. OK, based on those switches, I think I've actually already done all this. Yeah, I think we might actually be ready to get out of here. There's probably some secrets and things I might have missed, but, uh... Oh! I am trying to wrap this one up today, if possible. Get away from me! Luckily, it's Saturday, so I have a little bit longer of a stream. I think I go this way? Yeah. Isn't there a way over there? There we go. A complicated little path. This place just feels so cozy. I like this music. I feel safer here. Okay, if that's the save point, the teleporter is back here. Oh wait, do I use those things here? This might be where I use those stones. Let me double check. Yeah, it talks about the three items that we picked up. Yes, I think this is it. Okay. So we place one in each of these spots. It looks so cool. Now, you could have been doing this as you get them, but I just got them all at once. Oh, there's one shield down. Okay, that's good, other guy. I'm glad it's going to be obvious. I was a little bit worried, like, I just missed some key thing that I glanced over, and it's like, oh, you, you could actually have gotten those hours ago, John. <laughs> oh, nice, 99. I love it when there's a really good live version of a performance recorded. I feel like too many times... I've seen, like, people record from their phone or something, and it just doesn't do it justice, obviously. You need that good professional audio quality. And the last one. Now, I know this isn't the very end of the game, but we are freeing our fox friend, I hope. Now that all those are done... Oh, wait. Do we go up here? There was another path over here. Oh, I just got an achievement that said, what now? What was over this way? I'll have to check out that band though, 99. I've never I've never heard of them before. Is it this way? It takes us back out. Oh, that just is kind of like a shortcut. Okay. We haven't figured out how to open up these yet either. So many secrets in this game. I want to get back to the overworld because um, I want to check out that place with the gates. I think that's where we found our fox friend. There we go. Yeah, this is where I want to be. So let's go down this way. Maybe double check the map. I think that's one of the teleporters, right? The question mark? I forget if that one worked or not. There's some of these that just don't work. I'm wondering if I'm going to have to grind a bunch of these enemies to level up. Oh, 
Oh, good. No, I think it is active. Nice. Oh, absolutely, 99. That'd be great. Oh, no. Okay, I, I, I thought there was something wrong with this one. Yeah, we can't go across there. Because I don't have that ability. Okay. Well, where is the other nearest teleporter? Let's see. Oh, um, just next to the old house. That's right. There is another page down there. I remember looking for that before and I couldn't find it. At least I couldn't figure out how to get to that. Oh, you know what? I bet you need the jumping ability. Because there's some parts of the beach there that I couldn't cross the water, but maybe if I get some jump, I could. Okay, so I think I cross the bridge here, go down, and it's like right over here. I feel powerful hitting these guys. <laughs> But those weird spider things, they just wrecked me. I had no chance. Tajay, what's up, dude? Oh, nice. Yeah, if I do get to a point where it's like I just can't get past a certain enemy, I might bug you for that. But I don't know. I was able to cheese those guys with a gun. <laughs> I might find a way. Here we go. So wasn't the fox spirit like up here? The gun is the best? Okay, I thought so. It, it uses so much mana, but it's so ex powerful. Wait, where is she? She's not here. Hmm. I guess we did break her free, but she didn't hang around to wait for us. Okay, what else might have changed? There's still this one I haven't gotten to yet. Take a look at the map of these. Okay, all of those are places we've already explored for the most part. There's that sword though. We got to the sword one time and I couldn't do anything there. It's this one in the middle. I wonder if something's changed here. <laughs> nice, 99. There she is! What happened to the sword? We did it! Oh, she has a sword. Why? Why? What the heck? Am I hurt? Oh, I'm almost dead. What happened? Why you hurt me? Oh, God. Oh, this is not cool. Oh, man. Okay, I should have switched a gun. I had no idea that was going to be a boss battle. Wait, why does she look sad? Or is she laughing at me? I don't know. <laughs> what was that reaction? Oh, it's not over. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Tunic, where you just get murdered by the people you think you're saving. Oh, this is like the beginning of the game, isn't it? <laughs> there can be only one fox. It's like a Highlander, right? This is like the beginning of the game, but we are uh, like a spirit? This is like... Like, Link to the Past, where there's, like, a dark world? Can I use this? You can use that. Do I want to use that? Maybe I want to explore this area a little bit. Oh, that must have been it, Taja. You weren't really supposed to beat that boss. That's why I continued on, right? Although, I have fought bosses that were, seemed just as hard. Hey, Droll Shanka, how are you doing, Droll? Oh, wait, is that her again? Jerk? You stabbed me. No idea. <laughs> what could she have said? Wham! Hmm. 
Interesting. Gosh, I feel like I could explore this whole place or just go through that teleporter again. There's like no enemies though. And everything still looks like it's opened, like we have been here before. Okay, you can still save it. Oh, that would be an interesting theory, Relentless. They they took our corporeal body, and now we're a spirit. There's a whole bunch of these fox spirits. <laughs> Something bad. Oh, no worries at all, Droll. Yeah, when we got back to finally jump in and play some games, I was super tired, too. I did not last very long. You know, anytime I get a lot of sun throughout the day, it just drains me. Does that happen to you guys, too? The sun's supposed to give us energy, but I feel like if I get too much of it, I just get overly tired. Oh, okay, we're back to the stones. Fourth key? Oh, so there's another one we need, huh? Siege engine. Hero fool? Yeah, I'm definitely a fool after doing that. Oh, absolutely, Droll. That's going to be awesome. Siege engine, fourth key. Have we seen anything about a siege engine in this game? I remember some trains. <laughs> How much Japanese did you take, Relentless? I think that'd be really fun. Okay, let me try going back to that teleporter. See if it works in this spirit world. It's weird not having any enemies. Like, how would you even grind for stuff if you wanted to? I mean, I'm guessing this is all temporary. Oh, was it really? I Unfortunately, during all the chaos of me... I still can't get across these. This looks different. Um... Yeah, I was not paying attention to their names when I was fighting them. Nice, 99. Although I will say, like a YouTube video, the audio and video quality is kind of crap, especially if you can find a Blu-ray of a concert. I have a couple concerts on Blu-ray, and just, just the uncompressed audio quality is phenomenal. But there aren't a whole lot of bands that release those, unfortunately. But it's the second closest thing I could think of to actually being there. Unfortunately, I only have like two of them. Wait, how, wasn't there a bridge? How do I cross? Oh, there used to be a bridge somewhere. Let me check the map. Yeah, like right across from that save point, there should be a bridge. Oh, that's cool. Not like a school thing necessarily. You're just kind of doing it on your own, right? That's awesome. Do you play those games like How to Learn Japanese, but it's like an adventure game? Relentless? That might be fun. Oh, yeah. There, there's supposed to be a bridge right here, but it's not there. Okay. So Siege Engine. That was the red key boss. Um, does this tell me which one was the red one? Hmm. Which one was the red boss? Red key boss. I don't think it's going to tell me. Oh, here we go. Forest Temple. Okay, Forest Temple was this way. I would have assumed Forest Temple was the green key. <laughs> Is this the right way? I am here. No, I need to go down just a little bit. Oh, we have the sea engines or siege engine. I thought I thought you were saying that um, the siege engine was the name of the boss that we killed. So I'm like, oh, we have to go back there for the fourth key siege engine. And we have it like an item. None of those. 
Oh, is it one of these? I don't think so. Hmm. So it was the name of the boss you killed um, and you have a page of its full art. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, so we should still be able to go back to where that guy is and maybe get a fourth key. So to get there, I actually want to go this way. Go to the right somewhere. <laughs> you should definitely play the games that help with that relentless. It would make more learning even fun. Versus feeling like, ah, studies. Oh, that goes to the skull. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. It's just a little bit further up. Oh, there it is, I think. This path, right? This is it. Oh, it's blocked. Uh-oh. That's the forest fortress. Oh, that kills me. Do I need to equip the mask? No, it still kills me. Okay. Well. First, I need to heal because I can't get that health back until I do this. I've heard that Duolingo is like one of the best tools for uh, learning languages like that. That's awesome. I don't think there's another way into the forest. Because the bottom right. Like if I go back here. So this takes me to the forest temple where the siege engine was. East forest is something else, right? Yeah, see, it doesn't say East Forest. East Forest is not the Forest Temple. Maybe I missed a clue in there. All I got was Hero Fool. Um, fourth Key Siege Engine. Yeah, is there another clue in here? Okay, the temple, three keys. Hmm. <laughs> and like, what is this clue right here? <laughs> like, what am I supposed to make of that? <laughs> oh, should I go to the bury burying ground? We are dead. Maybe it would make sense to go to the burying ground. Okay, where was that again? Garden West, Mountain Door, Sealed Temple. I think I might need an, a, a clue. Where was the burying ground? Hey, Phantasma. Happy Saturday. Good to see you. What's up? Oh, do I need a hint for the blue pen scribbles specifically? These right here? Yeah, because I haven't been making any sense of these things yet. It looks like you need to turn something. I see like a circle with lines in it and they're pointing to each other. Like something has to be rotated or changed. I haven't found anything in the game like that. see oh that's for translation I got it so not important for what I'm trying to do right now I don't think hmm dark tomb Yeah, unfortunately, at this point, I would probably just start wandering aimlessly until I find something, because 
nothing's really clicking as to what I should do next. I can't go where the clues were telling me. It makes me think maybe I need to find a new ability where I can pass through that stuff. I guess we should see where we can actually travel to. Because it seems like we're pretty limited here. See, I can't cross over there. That almost looks like it's like a secret door. I guess what's the general area I should be looking might be the only real question that I have, other guy. Because the only clues I've found, I can't get there yet. So I guess I would just kind of wander and explore until something popped up. Maybe I need to talk to more foxes. Swamp? <laughs> southeast. Oh, good. I'm in the southeast area right now. Cathedral Ghost. Oh, we've never been able to reach this before. Can I still interact with these? We can. There was kind of like a ghostly bridge right there. All right. <laughs> Robin got killed by that big fox that we were trying to save, I thought. As soon as we saved that fox, she took that huge ghostly sword that we found earlier and murdered us. We totally got murked. Hey, Disney. Happy Saturday. How's it going? So the, the whole thing I was thinking of, I was way off on my hypothesis. Cathedral Moonlight. Well, it is nighttime, so go to the cathedral. Big fight. Yeah, that happened. I died. Oh, it's going great. I'm so happy it's the weekend. I got one more week until my vacation starts. It's starting to make time feel like it goes by very slowly. What is that all about? I'm going to go visit my parents uh, in Nevada. It's going to be really hot there, especially compared to where I'm in California. But oh, now we're at the old burying ground. Nice. Um, but they have a pool, so we'll spend a lot of time there. A lot of barbecuing, good eating. They actually, our favorite escape room of all time is where my parents are and they just open up a new one. They've only ever had one, but they finally opened up a second room and I can't wait to check that out. <laughs> right, Tajay? Sometimes the quotes that randomly pop up are just mwah, beautifully perfect. Oh, that's creepy. That's a crazy angle though. It's kind of neat to see far in the distance. Oh, I just redeemed that on Steam recently, Phantasma. Are you liking it so far? It looked like a cyberpunkish version of um, Disco Elysium. Maybe it's not quite as great as Disco Elysium, but just the vibe kind of reminded me of that. You know what? I probably don't need this gas mask. I still don't know what half of these are. Oh, I remember you mentioning that one, 99. I, I keep debating on trying Escape Academy or Escape Room Simulator. People say Escape Academy is a better game. Escape Room Simulator is a better, like, real life style escape room. It's more based on that than, like, having game mechanics, you know? The good and the bad of that, I suppose. Oh, we could sneak up back here. Oh, I love Inscription, other guy. Didn't they add a... Um, we streamed that a while ago. Didn't they add like an endless mode to that game? I thought they were. Nice. Honestly, as I collect all these fruits, I pretty much just need them for the boss battles. Gosh, the size of this game just feels like it doubled ever since we got to this dark world, doesn't it? Oh, a shopkeeper. I don't have a lot of money. What can you give me for about tree fitty? Can 
I purchase this? No, we're nowhere near purchasing that. Oh my gosh, Phantasmo, that's gruesome. Why? Why would they do that? <laughs> but at least you're enjoying it beyond that scene. I haven't even found anything to fight. Casey's mod, that's it. But that was like a, like, you know, a mod. Weren't they going to add like a officially supported kind of out of the box patch to give you that functionality? Yeah, exactly, 99. I guess it just feels a little bit more fictional. Ooh, what was that? Gotcha. Okay, so there are enemies. Although that just looked like a fox I just murdered. Oh, th that, that is it. Okay, that's actually what they called the mod. <laughs> that's a little confusing, but that's cool. Oh, that's what they called the update, I guess. Oh, nice. I try to remember who Casey was in the game. Yeah, it's been a while since I fired it up, but I really enjoyed it. Oh, that's actually the name of the game dev. Okay. Oh, legend. Good luck with that. I hope that works out. Oh, we have another one of these. Come here. Come here. They make a creepy noise. Wait, oh, you go into different games? That's actually a really cool idea. I like that. I don't know, some of the stuff we've streamed already, Phantasma, I don't think we could ever get in trouble on Twitch. Unless I literally just played a port game. Where'd you go? Aha. Ow. Gosh, some of these are hard to see. Like when they attack, I'm not sure if they're at this point or that point. It could be either side. A farming sim detective thing? That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, they could get really meta with that idea. That's actually pretty cool. Found a chest. I don't know how many of those we found. Oh, we only need one more. And we can get another healing potion. <laughs> then I have the game for you. That's cool. Are any of you guys playing that new farming sim game on Steam? Um, Dinkum, I think is what it's called. Andy tried it out. She seemed to like it, although she was struggling with the controls a bit. Oh, nice. Now we gotta find a well. Oh, okay, so we have to get to that big cathedral. What's interesting is these enemies seem a lot easier than those spider things. Like the difficulty of those spider things was like off the charts. Ow. Ow. Just as when I say that, these things start killing me. Ow. Get my stamina back. Whenever you got more than one of these, the timing of the attacks is difficult. There we go. Oh, pumpkin pie is so good. Some whipped cream.
What is your guys' favorite kind of pie? I actually really like a like a chocolate cream pie, but you don't see it very often. Oh, these guys are a little bit tougher than they were before. These are an upgraded version. They look the same. They got way more hit points. Oh, I'm out of mana. Hey, he dropped some mana. I will take it. Ooh, Dutch pie. Wait, what's oh, the what's difference between like a normal apple pie and a Dutch apple pie? <laughs> do it, Relentless. Do it. I know, I set myself up there, right? I'm going to save my mana and just kill this guy the old-fashioned way. Although it's really slow. I can only get one hit off and then they retreat. Oh no. <laughs> You're like, it's too easy. It's too easy, John. Oh, okay, I have seen that, Phantasma, yeah. I guess I just didn't know the name at the time. Oh, come on. Why didn't that hit? There we go. You know, as I'm playing that game, Hollow Knight, I have a specific capability attached to my character just so that it automatically grabs all the experience. I don't have to run around and get it. It's just a convenience thing, but it's nice. Oh. Look at this shortcut. Nice. Where does this actually take me? Right behind this mausoleum. Did I go in here before? I think I did. Should I save it? I should probably save it. And then just go right up there. Oh my gosh, Phantasma, that's awesome. <laughs> wow. I hope that kid can look back at that at some point and see what their parents put. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Okay, well now we got some mana. I feel like I can use just a little bit and take these guys out. Did I kill him? I think I did. Oh, what's special about that one? We've seen those before, but now it's got like all this swirly stuff. Yeah, how did Marie Callender's ruin that pie, Relentless? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, here's another one of these blocks. There we go. Yeah, so that always opens up these huge doors. I need to figure out how to do that one in the snow area too. I never did figure that one out. I wonder if I could have before, I just missed it. Gotta look for secrets. Really? No chest? Oh no, Legend, that sucks. Although generally that is cheaper than a CPU to replace at least. Oh, you can go down here. There we go. Okay, what's over here? Is that a dead end? No, there has to be something here. Oh, here we go. I was just on the wrong side of that chest. It's like, why can't I open it? Oh, that's gross, Phantasma. Oh. Yeah, that'll ruin a pie really quick. I've never done anything quite like that. Although one time, I think I put 
I think it was like a fast food burger in the microwave, just briefly. And I didn't realize that the inside of the wrap, because it was like a paper wrap around it, but the inside was actually foil. So as soon as I put it in there, it started popping and exploding. I had to stop it immediately. Oh, save point. Thank goodness. Oh, yeah, that'll do it, Legend. That'll do it. It's difficult moving a PC. I actually have like a really small gaming PC in my living room that I built not too long ago. I was thinking about taking it to my parents' house, but I think it's just too dangerous. It's like everything's so compacted in there and I'd be scared something would get jarred loose or damaged in the moving it around. So I think I'm just going to take my laptop. It's definitely not as powerful, but it's better than nothing. All right, we made it to the cathedral. Oh no, Phantasma. Hopefully it didn't do anything too catastrophic. Hi, Georgie. Hold on. Georgie wanted to say hi. You probably heard him barking a second ago. He's very <gasps> upset about something. Well, it's okay, Georgie. What are you so barky about, huh, buddy? Not working. Let me try one more time. And work. There we go. Be quick. Hey, Georgie. What are you barking about, huh? What's up? Who upset you, Georgie? Who upset you? He looks excited. Okay. It's okay, Georgie. <laughs> get him. Go get him, Georgie. Hey, go get him. Oh, I wish I could get Gus in here. I just gave him a haircut yesterday. He looks so handsome. Good boy, Georgie. Good boy. It's really funny. We, um... We went out to uh, hang out with... Why is that still there? Hold on. Why is it on the screen? Did I press the wrong button? Hold on. There we go. Okay. Give them a cookie. <laughs> They're not good for the... <laughs> we don't have any kind of dog biscuits right now. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so we went to family's house to, ha we had dinner, hung out, and when we got back, we had plans to play some games with friends, but it's so funny. Like, you know, you go out, you play with the dogs, take them outside, but Gus, specifically, he just, when he wants to play or he wants attention, he's so funny. He starts going, and does this weird howling thing, and you know you gotta stop whatever you're doing and play with him for a little bit, because he demands attention. He's like, oh no, no, dad, you've been gone too long. We have to hang out. It's so cute. Okay, what can these guys do? Kill them before they get a chance to do anything. Yeah, they're just kind of making funny noises, you know? They're not, like, upset. They're not, you know, t trying to tell you take me outside or anything. They're just, like, chatting to you, essentially. Oh, I wonder if I can lure them in this. This might be able to shoot them. That absolutely can shoot them. I just gotta watch out for myself. Nice. Is that like a dark version of ourself? I think it might be. That's kind of neat looking. <laughs> and they look to you for approval when they're barking, right? Oh, it's so cute. Okay, these guys are pretty slow. I'm scared they're going to do massive damage if I get hit by them, though. It seems like if I just rush in there, they can't attack back. They're not quite fast enough. I thought there might be a secret. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, that hurt. What was that? Oh, look at this guy. He's like all glowy and scary looking. Screw that noise. He's real fast. Oh, no you don't. Oh. I had to cheese him and grab him to kill him. 
I feel like I need to get back to a save point just to get my uh, health back up. Yeah, what's your guys' favorite tricks you've taught your dogs? We haven't gone for any crazy complicated tricks with our dogs. I've always just like roll over. That one's super cute. Because really they're also asking for a belly rub at the same time. I love that because we're a ghost, our spirit actually creates like a little bit of light. Okay, I bet. I guess I don't need to, but I bet I could lure him into those traps. I've never actually used one of those chili peppers. Oh, that's a really cute one. I like that Phantasma. And you probably do it every time you leave the house, too. This place is massive. I'm going to get lost in here. Oh, it's like a snuggle command, essentially, Phantasma. Okay, these are little birds. They might not be as difficult as the ones... That, oh, they seem to take just as much damage. Oh man, there's so many birds. This sucks. I'm gonna get, like, overwhelmed. Oh, and they do that too. Hold on. This is terrible. Okay. I hate this ability where they can like take down your entire health bar and it doesn't come back until you find a safe point. It's like those spiders. They're the worst. I keep attacking right through this guy. I don't know what the deal is. There we go. Uh, just take my time. Okay, well, we got our health back, so I should probably use a little bit of mana to help with these guys. Because they're dropping mana, too. Oh, that's so cute. Is it a big dog, Phantasma? My uh, mother-in-law has a really large dog that... Um, will um, try to be a lap dog, but it's just too big. It's cute, but it's uncomfortable. Oh, not too big. I mean, Gus is a little bit lighter than that, and he's pretty heavy, but... Yeah. Yeah, Frenchies are not too huge. They're thick. They're thick boys. Andy wants to, at some point, get really big dogs, like a Great Dane or something. And I know it's going to be in our bed. And that's going to be obnoxious. Sweet. I wish I had something to bring my whole life bar back, though. I don't think any of my items actually do that. Okay, so that looks like... Maybe our end goal up there? Some kind of gate? Oh, nice. We got a shortcut. That is true. If you have a dog that has a penchant for doing something destructive and they're a big dog, it's going to be way more destruction. Smaller dogs are definitely easier to handle in bad situations. Although, if you want a guard dog, then you probably want a bigger dog, too. I feel like I just did a big circle. What did that accomplish? I got right back to the save point. Oh, Ellaby, thank you so much for the lurk. Oh, is this what I was looking at earlier? It looks like that might be... Um, I see what kind of looks like a charging line going down into that hole.
Ow. Yeah, these guys do tremendous damage. Even though I just want to wail on them. When there's two of them, don't do that, because they will absolutely wreck you. I can't go back there. They can absolutely be guard dogs. They might not be able to like stop an assailant, but they're still great at letting you know what's going on, um, alerting you if there's a noise maybe you missed, that kind of thing. Like, if somebody really wanted to hurt us, our dogs are not going to be able to stop them. Okay, well, let me go ahead and save it again, because that... Oh, wait. Ah, oh, crap. I meant to try praying first. I just brought those guys back. True, they can't rip pants. <laughs> oh, you had to buy a new... That makes sense. Better than the guy reporting your dogs for, like, being dangerous or something, though. That's one thing you always got to worry about when your dogs kind of get out of control. You don't want anybody reporting them to authorities. Like, hey, this dog's dangerous because that's a whole nother mess. Okay, let me try praying here. No? Okay, I think I might need to go back up where I was. I think I missed something here. So we're in this top area. We can look down upon all that. Wait, are there two statues there or is there just one? I mean, I think that makes a lot of sense, Phantasma. If they get, you know, attacked when you're not home, it's like, nope, the owner needs to be there. Otherwise, I just don't feel safe. Not like their life is threatened, but yeah, I'm sure they don't want to accidentally hurt your dog as well. Yeah, I want to try to sneak past all these things. Maybe run past him. I feel like I'm missing something. Honestly, yeah, even if, um, wait, did I go this way? I didn't go this way. Okay, that's what I missed. Um, if a burglar just hears a dog, oftentimes, without even know how big or small it is, they just don't even want to go in that house. Um, Gus sounds like a much bigger dog than he is, for sure. Oh, these are the tough guys. Oh, crap. Two hits? Screw these guys. Okay. Well, at least I know how to get back there really quick. We just have to go up and then around that other corner. <laughs> Raccoons are very bold. I can understand that. Can I latch onto one of these guys and fight them over here on my terms? Because these guys are really hard to hit without taking damage yourself. Oh, there's one. Oh no, I wasted on a corpse. Oh, there we go. Yeah, see? Not worth it. Just gotta use the grappling hook because then you can get your hits in. <laughs> yeah, our dogs, um, Gus and Jesse, they'll bark at people, but if they thought they were friendly, then they wouldn't do anything. But Georgie, he would keep going at them for a while if we weren't, you know, home to tell them otherwise Georgie would not easily forgive intruding in the house okay that's the only way I know how to take them out it uses a lot of mana though Oh, there you go, Legend. Uh, what motherboard did you end up getting for that CPU? Hopefully you found a pretty good deal. Oh, can I sneak under that? Oh, just barely. Okay. Mm. 
Nice. That's more health. That's always good. I've not been here yet. I feel like that's going to damage me if I get too close. Hey, Speedy. What's up, Speedy? How you doing? You having a good weekend so far? Should I backtrack here? Aha. Yeah, this will turn this on. Actually, Speedy, this is kind of part of my normal schedule. I always stream Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. and then Saturdays at noon. It's good to catch people in different time zones. Because I know not everybody can make my night streams. There goes Georgie again. So I'm guessing that's an elevator? Nice. Oh, look at all the skulls. Oh, that's so metal. Nice. <laughs> true, true. Yeah, what time is it for you right now, Speedy? Oh, well, Legend, hopefully they know what they're picking. Yeah, just compatibility is the only thing I'd be worried about. But I'm sure they did some research. Oh, it's so late for you, Speedy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's only um, 1.32 p.m. for me. Hey, there doesn't appear to be anything else in this room. I think that was it. So let's go back the way we came and check that out. Yeah, that's right. You're Eastern time, legend. You know, I, I feel kind of fortunate. The only sport that I watch is like UFC, MMA fights, and the pay-per-view, which there is one tonight. They always start at 7 p.m. Pacific. But if I was on the East Coast, they would start at 10 p.m., which means they'd go on until 1 in the morning. And that would suck. I feel very fortunate that on the West Coast, it's so much easier to watch that. <laughs> Speedy, just staying up late. What time do you usually go to bed, Speedy? On the weekends, I'll stay up until 1 or 2 in the morning. But on the weekdays, I try to get to sleep by like 1130. Okay, I'm going to try to use this without pissing everybody off. Nope, that didn't work. Oh, you tried to go pretty early, Speedy. That's good. Why did I do that? Actually, I can just recharge. Oh, um, other guy. I don't know if you're still listening, but... Uh, it seems like because I'm dead, my health and mana and everything are lower. That reminds me of Demon Souls quite a bit. In that game, when you're dead, you have less of a life bar. Ooh, that was close. Try to be more careful with these guys. Hard to even catch them. <laughs> right, other guy? Hmm, interesting. I want to go back and actually finish Demon Souls on the PS5. I played the PS3 version all the way through, but I haven't beaten the PS5 version yet. Down we go. I did. Yeah, we've played all of the Dark Picture games on stream, Speedy. Um, I also recently beat... Oh, what is it called? The new one, The Quarry. I've never streamed Until Dawn. I have played it, and I beat it before I started even streaming, but I haven't streamed that game, so that might be a good one for Halloween time. <laughs> Fantasma, I'm not meant to work before 7, 10 a.m. By 10 a.m., my workday is almost half done. I'm not saying I'm built for it. That's just what the job requires, so I do it. You know, for the dark pictures specifically, Speedy, I think they go in order of release as far as worst to best. So Man of Medan was probably my least favorite, and the most recent was my favorite of that series. I would probably put the quarry right above that, and then Until Dawn is probably my favorite of their games. Did I save it down here? I think I did. Let's do it anyway. Well, before we go down there... Let me just see if there's a secret over here. There's a big, weird, empty space. I could totally see a secret. I guess not. Oh, you were walking to Tibetan Mastiff. Those are huge, aren't they? Um, and there was some really loud thunder. She got scared and tried to bolt. 
And it's luckily you were able, you were, uh, you were the one walking. Oh, 230 pounds. Yeah, you could hold on to that dog. There you go. I was going to say, yeah, if that dog tried to take Andy for a walk, she'd be screwed. Oh, crap. We just fell down. There's no, no returning from this point. You know what? I'm going to switch. Let's equip our gun. Let's equip... Um, this thing that gives us, where was it? This one, mana potions, because I feel like we're about to get in a big battle. Oh, you're making good progress, Speedy. They're all fun, though. Even my least favorite mana medan I had a, a hoot with. This looks like a boss battle like rush battle or something where like each one of these is a boss we've already beaten before. Please tell me I don't have to beat them all. I'll take the potion. Holy cow. I mean, I don't need all that right now, but that's cool. Wait, do I have to grab all this before I can do anything? That was a waste. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I should have waited. Oh yeah, that starts a boss battle. Just an easy guy, though. Oh, there's more than one. Okay. However, that you could get overwhelmed with these guys pretty quickly if you're not killing them fairly fast. I was thinking there was going to be one big battle. Now I regret not having healing potions. Because, yeah, we're going to die pretty quick here. Actually, I'm going to let them finish me off. <laughs> I've already wasted too much. Okay, now I know what I'm actually up against. That's a giant Kong with a big old banana. That's just the subtlety of that quote is amazing. Okay, let's re-equip. I don't want that anymore. I guess I'll equip that. I don't know what half these things do still. It drives me crazy. You know, I'm going to go back to my normal stuff, actually. Yeah, let's do that. This is going to be tricky. So when I grab that, it gives me my mana back or my magic back, but it also hurts some guys. You could actually use that as a uh, tool to kind of blast them away, which is neat. Okay, how many of these guys are they gonna throw at me? See, a game like this on stream, I kind of wish that like I played a little bit of off stream just so I could do some of the grinding to get a bit more powerful. Did he hit me? Yes, he did. Ow. Oh, see, this is bad. <laughs> I'm getting too many of them on me at once. Right, that's one down. Hey, monkey, what's up, dude? Oh, these are both shield guys. Okay. It's hard to time them so I can actually hit the one I want. Oh, there we go. When they miss, you have a small window of opportunity to hit them. Okay, I think that was it. Which one do I want to do next? I'm trying to think of what all of these are. Some of these I think are trickier than others. I've never watched Top Chef um, Phantasma. I've seen Iron Chef. I vaguely remember these guys. I hate these things. Oh, 
Oh, what happened? I accidentally tried to do a... What do you call it? Like a parry. Didn't work. Oh god, we're dead. Run away! I have so many of these guys chasing me. I wish I could get that healing potion thing. You see, none of them are looking at me right now, so can I grab onto one of them? There we go. Oh, I missed. It only takes three hits to kill them, but I missed one of them. There we go. Sneak up on this guy. He's not paying attention. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, that's two of them. We still got three to go. I don't remember what this one is. And there's a big one. Man, this is going to be so hard. See, I feel like I need to get out of here and go level up a bit more because I'm doing so little damage, I think, compared to what I could be doing. Oh, I get some good sleep, Speedy. Thanks for dropping in and saying hi, dude. Yeah, maybe we'll catch you at a better time next time, Speedy. Oh no, not these guys! I can't even like stand still to get a hit off. <laughs> These guys are ridiculous, all of them at once. I even tried using my grappling hook, but it wasn't enough. Hmm. Yeah, I don't even think that I keep trying that. Although, I guess I might need another clue there, um, other guy. I don't think there's a way I can really gain any more experience now, is there really? Like, I, I, I think a lot of the world is blocked off to me now that I'm a spirit. So I can't really grind and get a lot of level ups that I could in the main overworld, right? I don't think there's a way back there quite yet. Maybe there will be eventually, but I don't know. I might be screwed here. I know I can get out to the overworld, but uh, like I don't. I do have a couple items here to upgrade those, which I guess I could do that right now. Let's see. And judge, there's a shop to the right here. You mean this thing to upgrade? I can do both of these. Yeah, and it doesn't even help my bars. That's true, other guy. I guess that makes sense. I guess I meant. Does that still, like, increase my damage and stuff? That could make it a lot easier. Oh! You actually can't upgrade at all. Oh, I didn't even see a little path there, Judge. <laughs> That's funny. Unfortunately, none of these are really going to help me right now. Like, permanent upgrade. You can get a few like health items, but I might just waste them and then that's that. I think it's just, this is just a, a get good moment. I think it's just a get good moment. So what is overall my best? I guess, here we go, other guy. Clues. I need to know what some of these do. So this thing, I believe, gives me like 15% more health. Doesn't do anything for me right now. This one, I think, makes it so that when you block damage, it takes less of your stamina, right? I think I need to know what some of the other ones do because I don't have instructions that actually help me with most of them. I saw some uh, update for that Phantasma, some news article. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so for specific cards, the only ones I know for sure... The Cyan Pearl Ring, it says Defense Peril. I think you get increased defense when you're in danger. Inverted Ash, I know what that does. Lucky Cup looks like it's 15% more health. Might not help me here. Muffling Bell? I think that might make you better at stealth, but I'm not sure. And then if we look at this list. Orange Peril Ring. More damage when you're in trouble. I mean, we know what the scavenger's mask does. 
Oh, it looks like there's more drawings on here than before. Tincture, I think, means you do more damage, but you have less defense. Anklet, perfume, some of those I'm not sure about. So yeah, if we look at the list, I don't think I have a bone. No, I haven't found a bone yet. So I guess the anklet, what does that do? Does that make you faster? Does that make you dodge further? Something like that. <laughs> Alabama expansion. Oh, that's bad. 99. <laughs> I had a friend that lived in Alabama. I went to go visit him. Interesting place for sure. Piggly Wiggly. Experience I will never forget. Oh, that's a stamina regeneration. So am I correct in thinking that this 15% extra health is useless here because of the way the life bars and stamina bars are limited? I think this is like useless to have connected right now. So that one is stamina regen. Is the muffling bell some kind of... Um, what do you call it? Uh, like stealth item, I believe? Legend! <laughs> What do we say about this? You're going to get in trouble with your bank again. They're going to lock you out. <laughs> Thank you so much, Legend. And the muffling bell is a 15% chance of enemies to drop a heart. I never would have figured that. Not in a million years. Okay. That's actually really good. And you have a Piggly Wiggly where you're at, Frost? Do you go there? Do you like it? I just remember when I was there, there was like these funny, obnoxious voices popping up on the radio all the time. The loudspeaker just saying welcome to Bigly Wiggly we got our sales on just going on for way too long and when I was in the meat section I just saw all kinds of interesting pickled jars of things it kind of reminded me of a scene out of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre you look like things that kind of look like a fetus here's some weird face in a jar I couldn't even tell what half of it was it was just very interesting So that's not what the Lucky Cup does? Wait, which one's the Lucky Cup? Let's see here. 15% defeated enemies. The muffling Bell's that. Which one's the Lucky Cup? I'll have to look at my list. Oh, it's a different one, Frost. Okay, I, I wasn't sure if they were all like that or what. Lucky Cup. Oh, that's the heart. Okay, so it doesn't give me 15% more health. It gives me a 15% chance of getting a heart. Okay, that's actually useful now. Okay. So other than that, is Muffling Bell some kind of like stealth? And they just never dropped hearts before you equipped it? That makes sense then, I guess. Yeah. And you can get more specific stuff like high feet and gizzard stuff. Oh, that makes sense. Some of the stuff I think. Okay, so that is stealth. And um, this ring with the sword. I'm thinking that means when you're low on health, you do more damage. And this is when you're low on health, you have better defense, right? Yeah, reduced detection radius. Yeah, am I correct in analyzing what these are? Because it kind of gave me a hint in the instructions, but I'm trying to interpret it. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I definitely don't trust any meat at Walmart. The only meat at Walmart I would trust is if it's like Foster Farms chicken or some like a brand name thing where it's like it's all coming from the same place regardless of where you buy it. How about this shield with the meter in there? I'm thinking that means that blocking uses less stamina. And for this one, just try ones, try the ones you die on until you find a good strategy. Oh, that's true. I guess when you get stuck on one, keep learning that one rather than waiting until the end to fight them again. That actually makes a lot of sense, Judge. So I'm thinking that just means this uses less stamina. And then these two, I really have no idea. Oh, that's for parries. I don't parry at all. Okay, I want to get rid of that. So right now, I would probably say... Do more damage when I'm in trouble. <laughs> yeah, right, Whippetel? What's with all the mysterious cards? Oh, this guy... Maybe this is the one I was thinking of. Um, 
That bracer, maybe that means that it uses less... That's what I was thinking. The bracer means blocking uses less stamina. Okay, I had it mixed up. Because that's kind of what that shield with the down arrow and the stamina looks like. So I think that's what the bracer does. Now, these two little foxes that look like angels... What was the clue there? Louder Echo and Magic Echo times four. I have no idea what that is. So when you pick up your Echo... Oh, that's the explosion when you pick up your corpse. Okay, I think we did talk about that last time. I don't think that's super useful compared to some of the other ones. Um, and then there's the Wine Glass... Tincture. So does the wine glass increase your damage, decrease your defense? I think that's what that does, based on that clue. And then there's just the gas mask, and I think we know what the gas mask is. Oh, it actually regenerates that. Okay, okay, cool. I think I know them all now. Thank you guys so much. So they drop parts when they die, possibly. Def defending uses less stamina. And I'm going to do more damage when I'm in trouble. That's probably the best setup. I think. Right now. <laughs> and the magic echo is underrated because you don't need to have full mana cost to use abilities. Oh, that's true. Yeah, if you just have a sliver of mana, it's still useful. I was really using that for like the big single battles when I was just using my shotgun to kill everything. I think this bottle prob uh, this battle probably has too many enemies to successfully use that um, shotgun strategy. I think it might be a little too much. If it was just one boss with one health bar, it's really nice just to get that extra mana. But yeah, I definitely noticed that in my last battle, just even having a little bit of that gave me a full shotgun blast, which was great. So I think these are the guys I died on last. Let's try them again. These are the magic guys. So how am I going to kill these guys quickly? Besides lots of dodging. Oh god, oh god! I think I could just get one hit in and then dodge. One hit in and dodge. Don't really go for combos. Is it slow as all hell? Yeah. But I think it's safer that way. Just keep moving. Don't stand in one place too long. Okay, this doesn't seem too bad. I can use magic, yeah. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I got hit once when I got a little too greedy. So far, I still think the most difficult one is probably these guys. Okay, let's try this one. The skeleton guys? I don't remember how hard they were. I like that music that starts every time. Oh, true! You can't change your cards as well, huh? Actually, I might switch to the shotgun for that big boss at the end. Ouch. Oh, this is getting dangerous with all of them. I couldn't kill them quick enough to get them all. That actually might be a good strategy. Let them all spawn in and kill them all at once. Can I possibly switch to the shotgun? Without getting killed. Wrong thing. Oh god. Let's try that. I might be able to just shotgun a mass group of these guys. Oh, that guy's running after me. And switch. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. This is so dangerous. Oh, hold on. 
Therapy Android, thank you so much for the bits. I can't drop that right this second. I'm getting chased, but how's it going? Happy Saturday. Oh, you know what? Let's um, lure him into here. There we go. Did a little bit of damage. Oh, dodge. Yes, you can absolutely do that. That's probably still a really good strategy using that shotgun. Oh, still taking hits though. Ow, ow, ow. I think I'm going to get the healing in between there. Thank you so much, Relentless. There we go. Now I can do it. How's it going, Therapy Android? Hope you're having a good weekend. What's new? Oh, okay. So we've taken out two. Uh, should I use this right now? I'm going to. Just for the heck of it. You get a lot of hearts. Although I don't have to pick up all the hearts right now, do I? I'm not sure if I can leave some of these hearts here. See, I'm already full. Oh, does it fill up all your health potions? I thought it just gave me one. Oh crap, that was a waste. Yeah, I actually can't start the next battle, I think, until I grab all of them. There we go. Dang. Okay, I got a lot to learn. Oh, what is this guy? I don't have any mana. Oh, and you can swap between this thing, too. Like, we can switch over to this and get a little bit of mana, right? And then switch back and have health potions again. That's really handy. Let's see. Redemption from last time? What do you mean, Phantasma? Oh, the, the tokens that you missed? And let's see, you had a very pleasant Saturday? Oh yeah, your Saturday is just wrapping up. And you're about to go to bed, so I'm dropping it, but not for long. I'm so glad you had a good Saturday. What did you end up doing? We're making good progress. I actually was kind of thinking I might be able to beat it today. Probably not. We'll probably beat it on Tuesday. But we are getting very close. Okay, let's go ahead and do this guy. I'm not even sure who this is. I kind of want to just let everybody spawn in, except for the magic guys, and shotgun blast them all. Oh, these guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my lord. How do you do that? Hold on. You can't even like dodge and shield yourself properly for that one. Let's try that again. I have to learn this one first. I don't think I could cheese them with a shotgun. They all seem to spawn on the outer edges. Oh, I can't reach them. Too far away. Wait, do they shoot each other? They do shoot each other. Okay, I think you just run around like a chicken with his head cut off, maybe? And eventually they will all murder each other. They don't drop money down here, do they? I don't think they do. <laughs> we lasted five seconds longer. I should probably be grabbing this every time, just in case. Otherwise, I'll lose all my cash here. Yeah, I'm going to try just running and see if I'm going quick enough to not get shot too much. Because if they can all shoot each other, that'll be great. Oh, nope. We'll still get hit. Ow. Maybe that's not the strategy. No, I wish I'd started with that therapy. I had no idea how many deaths this game was going to involve, so unfortunately, we have no accurate death counter. It would be in the hundreds. Absolutely. Heck, I might get a hundred just from this. Unfortunately, I think the shotgun would only work if they were all bunched up together, and they're so spread out. I'm going to swap to this. Oh, I was going to say, if we could slow them down. Oh, you know what? No. I think we just want to use the... Um, the Fire Blaster. I think they all get killed in one hit, if I remember correctly.
Ow. Okay, it uses a lot of mana, but you can absolutely do that. And luckily they drop a lot of mana. Okay, so we need that fire blaster for those guys. We've taken out everything else, right? I think I might want to try the shotgun for the rest of them. Except for these guys. These guys just... This guy's pretty easy. We just have to keep moving and hit them one at a time. Don't let them blast you with that. Don't get too greedy with your hits. If you stand in one place too long, you are going to get blasted. I need to get my stamina up. There we go. This would actually be a good battle to have the circlet equipped, actually. Oh, almost got hit there. Got a little too greedy with two hits there. They gotta be close to death, right? I'm not actually targeting them, so I'm not sure. Oof, almost. That's one down, or a couple down, actually. Dodge! There we go. Yeah, I think the anklet would be good for that, just to get your stamina up very quickly. So, I can get through that one without taking damage. That's pretty good. These other three? I think the best strategy might be... I might want to switch to shotgun. Let them group up in a huge gathering and just blast them with a couple shots. So I think I'm going to switch. This one with this one, so I got the mana. Switch to the shotgun. I think that might be the best idea. Let's start with these guys. You know, this feels like the end of the game. Just because um, classic games would always give you a big boss battle rush mode at the end, before you finish. I wonder if I can kill these guys with two shots. Like the whole group. You gotta time it just right. And get lucky to have them all in one. Okay, once the big guy's here, I think that's everybody. Okay. Let's see if I can bunch them all up at once. That's pretty good right there. Okay. Oh, wait, where'd the big guy go? Why did he run away? He wasn't with the rest of them when I thought he would be. They're right there. Nice. Okay, we're out of mana. Do I try to do one more blast? Yeah. Let's go ahead and use a potion. There we go. Much better. Okay. I'm learning. I could be taught. Okay. That's that side's done. We just have these. So I'm going to go ahead and use some potions. And I think, Judge, you were saying that I get all my potions back when I use that special thing over here. That's awesome. So let's go ahead and take a few of these. I don't know if that's going to be one shot or two shots. 
Let's just leave it there and see. I'm going to try the same strategy. To just bunch them all up together for the most part. Some of these guys I can kill pretty quickly. With the combo. But when the shield guys start coming out, I can't get them fast enough. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, that big guy's just a little bit faster. He's fast enough where it's, like, tricky to even get a shotgun blast off on him. Did those guys just try to flank me? Oh, they gave up. Hold on, maybe I don't even need that. I might not even have to waste a shotgun blast on these guys. Just got to get the timing just right. You don't want to be hitting one of them and the other guy hits you. Okay, one more hit for this guy. Okay, easy peasy now. If you keep your shield out, you move very slowly, but you're safe, so it's kind of works both ways. I have to use one more potion. There we go. Now we got two shotgun blasts. I think I'm going to switch and get a little bit of healing. No, I should use some of these. There we go. I think we have a pretty good run going right now. Um, I'll actually switch to this as well. Okay, so if I need more mana, I can use that as well. But let's see if the shotgun method works for these guys. Then we just had the last one. Didn't these guys have, like, tongues they could, like, lash out at me with? I could have sworn they used tongues before, but they don't seem to do that now. Oh, I don't know if they're all going to bunch up like the, um, the skeletons did. They're kind of spread out, which makes the shotgun method a little tricky. I might have to put myself in danger to get them all. Oh, that guy's not even looking at me. There he goes. Okay, let's try this. Oh, they're too spread out. Come on, guys. Need you all in one spot. All right. Oh, oh, God. You know, if you get your distance, they actually kind of forget about you. <laughs> I don't think I could do my shotgun method with these guys. Hey, pay attention to me. Ow. Oh, there was like three of them. I didn't do any damage to them. What happened? Okay, so, oh crap. I think shotgun is not too good for these guys. I'm going to die. I don't have healing set up. I didn't think I was going to need healing. Oh, they have some health. There we go. Let's grab this as well. There we go. I just want to fight one at a time just to finish these guys off. Almost. There we go.
I think the best strategy for these guys to do it safely might be the grappling hook. If you have a lot of them on you, you can kind of grab one and get some free hits off. Okay, that wasn't terrible. It wasn't great, but the shotgun was not the strategy for those guys. Okay, so what should I do? I think I should maybe get some mana back with the potions, take that, and then switch over to healing. Yeah, because we want to make sure we have as much mana as possible. I don't want to go into the next battle with no healing, so let's do that. Or do you think we should heal first? It, it seems like the healing actually gives you more push, more potency, I guess. Is that right? Like, yeah, that definitely heals me more than what the mana potions does. Let's switch back. I guess it doesn't matter if you switch back. Oh, I should have just used them all for mana because they drop these health things and that doesn't help me, right? Like, it doesn't help my mana. Oh, well, that's okay. See, now I'd have to use all the potions for that. How much does that give me? That gives me a good amount. Okay. So I'm thinking I'm going to just try to shotgun blast this guy to kingdom come. Let's try that out. You know what? I'm going to switch to healing for right now. So I got potions for mana and healing fruit, just in case. So I can do both. Gosh, I'd hate to redo all that again. I think this is the guy we've already fought before, right? And then phase two, right? Oh, there's going to be more than one. Okay. Is there more than one? There we go. Oh, too far away. Son of a... Okay, let's try it again. There we go. Oh, I wasted a shotgun blast. Oh, do we finish? Or is that another boss battle? Oh, I think we finished! Oh, thank goodness. I was being very cautious because we were so close to the end. You feel a tingling. That's what the achievement just said. Aha! Now we have the ability to make all those jumps, don't we? Oh, that's awesome. And they make you use it so you know for sure you can do it. Nice! Oh my goodness, thank the Lord. I knew there had to have been something. So that's like... It's not a new ability. It's essentially an upgraded dodge, isn't it? Because it's the same button, I'm guessing. That's really cool. Now we have like this Julia, Julius Caesar headdress going on. That's cool. Wait, before we do that, is there a secret back here? I don't think I've been here before. Oh, there's something. Wait, how could that be a downgrade? I guess if you just don't like the animation, but it seems like it's faster. It looks like you might get a little bit more distance. That'd be a bummer if it was worse in some aspect, because then I don't think you could actually uh, get the old one back. See, now that we can get all these things, it really makes me feel like we should be uh, grinding for some money. So those upgrades are not cheap. Oh no, that just gave it to me. So we just got more stamina for that. Awesome. Okay, so we have to kind of go back and find all of them now. Do those show up on the map? 
I don't remember. Oh, we should switch our stuff back. There we go. Oh, so when you're on fire, now it actually takes an extra dodge? That does kind of suck. I'm not looking forward to going back to that place. Oh, this is interesting. It's almost kind of tough to tell where you can jump to at times. Man, they could hide so much stuff here. Like, that seemed to have been a dead end. That's kind of weird. Oh, because I'm supposed to go this way. My goodness. <laughs> Where am I even going? Oh, there's a chest over there. I can't quite reach it. Oh, I think I need to get up there. Oh, there's a rope. Oh, I missed this. Okay, this now I can probably get there. Nice. Ah, oh, we saw this before in the other world, but we could never get here. I can't turn it on, though, here. Oh! Again, the same battle fought uncountable times. So we're... So now that fox that we freed is kind of the bad guy, essentially, it seems. And we are legend destined to fight her, I guess. Huh. Wait, have I seen that before? <laughs> Data management? We must have had that before. Or is that just the opposite side of that page? I have to check to see if there's any clues there. Let's see. We're still the bad guy. <laughs> Dang it. Ooh. Where is this? Custodians? Spyrite? And Sapogratch? So custodians are caretakers of the vault who have learned some magic. Candles can be put out. How can I put those out? I would love to do that. I hate getting caught on fire. Don't be fooled. The mark on their back is a trick. Huh. And then it looks like the teleporters can go to those other statues, but I'm not sure how that works. Where is this place? Have I been there before? I mean, it just kind of looks like forests, so I'm not sure. Okay, well, let's keep exploring with our new ability. Oh, that's the worst part, Legend. Every time I do a PC build, I hate having to put all my stuff away. I usually bring, like, a foldable table to my office that I work on, so I have to go put that away. Man, I don't want to mess with any of this. Although, cable management... In some ways it's fun, in some ways it's not. Yep. Understand any of that. Let's see, the Eastern Vault where you fought the siege engine that looked like a giant mechanical spider. Nope, never been there, never seen that. <laughs> It's funny getting a map of a place you've been to a long time ago. And it's like, do I even need this now? Somebody's been here before. I could not get there. Somebody else has. But we've seen that before. There's been a lot of open chests. We're actually getting a lot of or cash now, which is nice. Wait, is that that place we just looked at?
No, I don't think so. Yeah, I guess not in this world specifically, that's true. Although a lot of this world seems unpopulated, like there's no enemies. Oh crap. A void gator? <laughs> I don't want to. They eat your health bar. Oh, I can't jump up there. I wonder if anything new is in this world. Like we've been to this place before. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything to get there. Is this the same song, but like slightly different? Oh my gosh, what is going on? I like wasn't connect, wasn't actually looking at the gator. Bad gator. Okay, looks like there is a uh, a piece to grab over there. How do I get there? Not, oh, here we go. If you hold the left trigger, you get... changes the angle a little bit. Is there, like, a secret exit here? That'd be some way of, to get to the other side of that. Maybe we can go back this way? There might be another path. Doesn't look like it. Hey, Sashima. Um, I played the really old one, Phantasma. I played Hitman back in like 1999 or whenever that first one came out. I'm not sure. NASCAR, what's up, dude? Thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? What were you playing, NASCAR? And Sashima, in the times of uncertainty, there is none to turn to. Only your wit and strength can guide you along this path. Strange and mysterious things lie before you, yet you fare on. No matter what power you gain, it seems as though you may never find an escape from the land of Junkadia. <laughs> What's up, dude? Hey, Tabinko, how are you doing? Thank you so much for the follow. This game is so good. It's tough. I've definitely needed some clues from time to time to get from place to place, but it's awesome. Oh, you were playing Mario 64? Such a good game. So you say you're doing star runs. Were you um, trying to do like a speed run? Is that what you mean? I'm doing great, Tabinko. Just so happy it's the weekend. I needed a break. And my vacation starts pretty soon, so I'm looking forward to that as well. Ah, I can finally get up here. So there, there is a lot of correlation between the spirit world and our regular world, for sure. I would love to go back and play Mario 64. It was such a good game. I haven't played it since it... Mm, I must have beaten it at least once since it came out, but it's been a long time. I do have the version on the Switch, so I guess I would do that one. If you had to guess Tabinko, like how far I am in the game, what would you say percentage-wise? I don't think I'm going to beat it this stream. I have about two hours to go or so. I want to get back to where I was. But yeah, I'm trying to just gauge like when I will actually finish this game. I really just want to get back there. And I get... What if I stand here and try to teleport through those little windows? Can't quite do that. <laughs> yeah, between 67 and 90 percent. <laughs> True, I guess it depends on what I do next. Oh, have a good one, Tabinko. Thank you so much again for the follow. You have an awesome rest of your weekend. Get out of here.
As long as you got your shield up, those guys are pretty easy. How in the world do I get over there, though? I'm still kind of learning this new teleportation mechanic. Okay, it looks like I need to go from that side. Where am I on the map? We are here. I don't even see anything over there. Oh, wait. Was there another place to teleport to over here? Oh, I need to teleport to that side. Yeah, Sashima, I think if I teleport to that side of the water, then I can reach it. So yeah, there's nothing I can do right here currently. We'll have to come back to that. And there's no teleporters over here, but there are a lot of um, chests that I missed for sure. Like right there, I can see a chest. dead end. Can't teleport over there. This is a really handy ability, but I'm still not sure all of the uh, restrictions. I recommend you check this out, NASCAR. If you're a fan of Mario, are you also a fan of like Zelda games? This definitely kind of feels like an older Legend of Zelda game in a lot of ways. Okay, the... um. That thing I used to use to climb up is no longer here. So we gotta find another way down. Okay, that's a shortcut to get back there. Oh, I can go down this way. One more hit. There we go. And you can get this game for, I think, everything except for... Well, maybe it's only PC and Xbox, actually. I don't think you can get it on PlayStation or um, Switch quite yet. Jeez. Those guys are excited. I'll just keep going this way. Dead. <laughs> yeah, it is. Good. I don't want to fight that boss again. Ooh. Have I been over this way? That's a big gator. There we go. Oh, good. I, I'm kind of surprised it wasn't on Switch. Like... Being a top-down game like this, it seems like it could probably handle it pretty well. They might have to turn off a few of the effects or something, but otherwise not too bad. Oh, we do have some a coin to use. Let's go ahead and use that. Hey, we got another one. Sweet. So let's go ahead and equip that. Oh, I should switch this. Um, that makes her stamina come back faster. And gosh, I'm already trying to remember what that one does. Crap, what did that one do again? <laughs> Man, we just went through the whole list right before that battle and I forgot. Still don't know how to open up these doors. So there's definitely more ability. Oh, that's the parry one. Yeah, no, screw that. I don't like parries. Um... And the wine glass was... Oh, that makes me do more damage, but I take more damage. I don't necessarily want that. I 
I suppose let's make it so we do more damage when we're in trouble. Well, there's like a path up here. What's over this way? <laughs> no Katy Perry for me. I couldn't even name a Katy Perry song if I had to. Just not my kind of music. Hey, Krim. How are you doing, Krim? Happy Saturday, dude. What you up to? Aha. Good. These are really important. We want to find all of these because this will take us to get those big upgrades. Each one of these leads to one we couldn't reach before. This one. I forget what this one is. Box. Is that more stamina? What did that one do? I don't think it was stamina. Wait, it's not one of these things. Crap, I don't remember what that fox thing does. We do want to upgrade our defense, though, and our SP next time we get a chance. Oh god, that Friday song. <laughs> what was her name? Jessica Black or something? Did she ever make any more music, or was that pretty much it, and then nothing else happened? Oh, you've been napping all day, Krim? That's awesome. You must have needed it. You must have needed it. Uh... I'm going to check the map just to see what that thing looked like. We are here. Okay, so it's one of those candles. So we need to find all the candles in the game. As those candles will take us to the rest of the upgrades. I don't think that song was by... <laughs> <laughs> Jessica Black. Oh, I can use that. Why did I unequip this? Oh, because of the coin. That's right. Gardens. What about the gardens? Okay, now that we're on this side of the map, we need another one of those candles. Is there a candle on this side of the map? Maybe not. Oh, I can get into that skull now. Yeah, I think that's it, Krem, yeah. Now there's no candle over there. Let's see. So you haven't completely translated the language yet, so you can read that. Oh, the word garden, you mean? I mean, I guess our character translated it. I don't quite understand how the translations work. I don't know if you can discern more words as you find more instruction manual or how that works. But I got the word garden. That's all I got from that. Okay, maybe we want to try to go into that skull. Oh, yeah, I didn't catch anything else besides the word garden. I have not ingrained any of those symbols to, like, any real English words yet. Okay, so there's a candle in the monastery. So we want to go back there. There's a candle in the place with all the skeletons. No candle there. See, so do you want an answer regarding the translation? I mean, just from a normal gameplay point of view, I don't see why I should know that. Yet. I'm supposed to catch a word besides the word gardens there? 
I mean, you guys could tell me at this point, I don't really care because I haven't gleaned anything that I should be learning from that. Besides them vaguely telling me, oh, go to gardens. Is she dead? Here's another instruction manual here we've never been able to get. What does this say? Normal? Ghost? Oh, it explains the different levels of your health. Okay. I don't know what the golden HP means. And that kind of tells you about the candles and how to get to those things. Yeah, if you want to translate it, because it might be interesting, that'll be cool. I'm, I'm probably not going to go back, honestly, and learn all of that and figure it out. So it might just be useful to know. Holy Cross. That might be what we need to open that door, perhaps. She doesn't say anything. Let me go back to the map. So I need to cross over, and then I'm going to try to get to that skull, which I've never been able to get to, but now we can. I save it. It's been a while since we've done that. I think it was this way? Oh, is this one where you have to kind of go through multiple times to get like the true ending to the game? Or I guess the entire story? That's the shopkeeper again. But he has an instruction manual for me. What is this? Door in the mountains, hero's grave, holy cross. Some of those are circled. Is that the old house? Something about the bed? Berries? And door in the mountains. Gosh, this game's so cryptic. It's crazy. Okay, so this is just showing you where all the different artifacts you can get from those praying places, right? Yeah, because we just got this one right here. So this is kind of where all those candles are, I believe. And it kind of reminds you what is what, I suppose. Like a dad monkey? <laughs> That's funny. I don't I don't see it. I don't see it. So I kind of want to explore the old house again now that we found this right here. That might be the house. That was just right back where we came from. Let's go take a look real quick. True, it is definitely trying to help us, right? Yeah, see, it mentioned a bed. And then something about a holy cross. So I'm supposed to take this path this way? Oh yeah, but I can't teleport through that. We had that issue before. Oh, wait, can I teleport through this? No. So, yeah, those um, things that I can pray at, Krim, it's just like a free item. You don't have to buy them. I think this path right here is this hallway we're in. 
I just have to get to that other side again, maybe. Oh, there's that symbol right there. I'm not sure if that's what it's referring to, this path right there. We have been up there. It's just kind of complicated in how to get there. I don't remember. Let's see. It's to the right under the door. Oh, I missed it. Okay, let's go back there. Let's see, under the door. Christian, dude, thank you so much for the lurk, man. This way? No. Is it outside here? Can you say under the door? So on the big door, not the house. Let's see here. This big door? Go oh, that way. Oh, there is a path over here. Is this what you were talking about? What is this? I never would have looked this way. Am I supposed to hit these? I thought maybe I could teleport on top of it to press it down. I can't seem to do anything here. And I don't think I have any items to use either. Hmm. It seems like you need to place items on these. Let me go back to the manual. Does any of this look like it connects to that? Or there could be like a certain order you have to activate them, but I can't even seem to activate them. I'm just trying to scan so quickly to see if we see anything that looks like that. I saw nothing. Okay, so I think we'll have to come back here. None of this seems to do anything. Yet. Of course. Okay, so we should probably go back to trying to get uh, more of those special things in that ethereal realm those are free upgrades <laughs> we need all those we can get speaking of upgrades we should upgrade our defense oh I can't in this world that's right okay we have to wait till we get back to the real world all right now let's see on the map where the other candles are we got that candle. Let's see here. There's no candles in this overworld. Nothing there. Oh, you don't even have to use the statue to upgrade? My bad. Well, I know. I do have two items. That's why I was confused. If I look at my inventory... Oh, wait. No, I... I don't have that one. Sorry, it was golden. I have that one. Hold on. Yeah, I think I missed that. When it was golden, I assumed that I had the item. I didn't. This one I do have. There we go. Thank you, monkey. I just rushed over because it, it was gold. I wasn't sure why it was gold. So, Krim, that uh, big fox I thought I was trying to save, as soon as we broke her free from that prison, she grabbed a big sword and killed us. So now we're like in a spirit realm, essentially. 
Okay, so that one upgraded our SP. Let's see where another candle is. Don't see one. Oh, there is a candle in that area. Where is this place, though? You said that's where we fought the big spider thing. We have to find our way back there. Oh, that was the forest temple, right? I think that was in the forest temple. Okay, let's try to get back there. We're not too far from the forest temple. We are here. Forest temples directly this way. But wait, there was something blocking me. I can't go to the forest temple. Okay, never mind. We have to find some way of dispelling that? I'm not sure. Oh, so they don't give you an item. They just unlock your stats in the real world. I got you, Judge. Okay. Now, I guess another clue I might want to ask. Am I missing something basic and getting past that purple stuff? Or is it something I just don't have yet? Okay, let's see where else there's a candle. There doesn't seem to be a candle here. Nothing in the frog's domain. There is one in the quarry. Okay, so I think I remember how to get there. Bambi, how hot is it where you're at? I am not currently, but it's actually... The weather's not too bad, luckily, where I'm at. But I know a lot of places are just way, way, way too hot. It's ridiculous. I need to get right there. Oh, even that waterfall's all corrupted. Okay, this should take me there. Oh, Krim. It's getting warm and cold, so it must not be too terribly hot where you're at. I know a lot of places are getting triple digits. I can't go there either. Hmm. All right. Now I'm confused. Do those unlock in a certain order? Or what do I do to get past those barriers? Because if I can't get to that area, there's no way I can get my health increased. Not Celsius, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm just thinking of uh, U.S. stuff. Oh, can't quite reach that. But what would that be like? 38, 37 degrees Celsius when it gets to 100? It's still way too hot. Can't seem to get it to connect to the other one. There we go. Still don't know what to do here. Wait, what did I not find, Judge? What have I missed? I'm guessing there's a basic item I need to get rid of uh, that purple stuff. The only thing I really have that I know of is this gas mask, but that only helps some purple stuff when it's on the ground and it gets you from far away when it's a big wall of it, I still can't walk through it. Oh wait, this goes to the mountains. That's right, I was just thinking the same thing, Judge, and there is another way to get there through here. 37, okay, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, at my parents' house, it does get to be around 95, 100 degrees Celsius, but they have a pool. So, and they have air conditioning. It won't be so bad. <laughs> nice, Bambi. Well, let me activate that. And bam. So, if you are a VIP in the chat, that doesn't actually affect you, but you still have to only talk in emotes. 
just to keep it fair for everybody. So essentially five minutes, no help for John. I never did find the power thing connected to this. Where could that be? <laughs> I love that emote, Krem. I was like, oh, John screwed. Can't go back that way. It could be down here somewhere. That block. Maybe now that I can kind of teleport, I might find a way down there. I love you guys telling stories through emotes. Actually, this place is pretty walled off. It doesn't really look like there's an, a lot of optional paths. Oh, I don't think it's up here. Yeah, because there's going to be a big obelisk that we have to pray to that will provide power to the door, which opens it up. But I have not found that obelisk yet. Usually there's some kind of connection, but I, I can't see the power lines, of course. Could be somewhere in this area. Oh, you know what? We should switch to the gas mask again. This is the place where that stuff gets you. And Anna! How's it going, Anna? Welcome. Okay, let me uh, swig here. So our mission now, bring up that map. If you choose to accept it. Okay, we are here. I'm trying to get... Oh, actually, right below us. I need to get to that door. If I can get over there. Oh my gosh, look at all that pink stuff. It's just overflowing. We should be able to get to... Uh... Oh, I can save it here now. Get to that upgrade. Yeah, this game has so many cool cryptic... Uh... Mechanics, I like it. Relentless, that looks like a, this is fine emote. This is fine, everything's on fire. I like it. Yeah, so th those things kill me, but we have the mask on, so we're safe. But I can't like fix it or anything. Oh no, that place is all corrupted. Where was the um, the prayer site? Wasn't it like right up there? Oh, this thing like makes me slide down. Oh, hello. Now there's somebody behind me. That's not good. Yeah, it's just somewhere in this monastery. All right, what's going on here? Oh my lord. He's going to take a lot of hits. Ow. Or he's going to kill me instantly. I think we got to take him out first. Okay. Yikes. He did a ton of damage. Luckily there was a save point right there. I can't wait to get my upgraded health and mana back. That was kind of cool, though. You come over here, you get stuck, and he's waiting behind you. Like a trap. Okay, he should be waiting for us. There we go. I'm going to do this. Let's try grappling. Ow. One hit, and I'm gone. Oh, and he decreases my health, too. Oh! Oh, sometimes when I grapple him, he's still out of range from hits. Oh, it sucks. 
There you go. Now you can talk again. <laughs> oh, we almost got him. Oh, I'm out of mana. Oh. It was working until it didn't. I think we're going to gun the hell out of that guy. I got him down pretty far, but uh, it'd be easier just to blast that fool. It's just so powerful. How do you not use it as a all the time, right? Gun, and then every time I switch to gun, I also usually swap this out. with this, so we have more of that. And you have one piece of homework to do left for this class. Almost done, Bambi. And now you have three jobs. Oh my gosh. But two don't start until the end of August, beginning of September. You're going to be so busy, Bambi. But that's super exciting. You're doing good. <laughs> you could do that too, Judge. <laughs> Let's get on his good side. Come here, jerk. Bam! How you like that? Oh my god, still not dead. need one hit. Oh, thank goodness. That was way too close. Uh, what did I have before? This one. Okay. Yeah, I didn't... I mean, I think, I think it was really powerful, but uh, sure didn't seem to do as much damage, huh? It could be that thing was resistance, had resistance to the gun. That might make sense, actually, Monkey, because this was the area where we got the gun. So maybe they are just not as susceptible to it. Okay, what does this fix? Health, maybe? Health would be nice. Okay, it didn't help health. It didn't help our mana. I'm not sure what that fixed. Potion. Okay, it looks like potion is unlocked now. Well, I don't know what that means when they're gold either. I think that just might mean it's unlocked for this area, but I've always been able to use potions. Were my potions weaker? Because this is the spirit world, maybe now my potions will uh, heal me more. That must be it. Okay. We got to get back to that save point. Hopefully no more enemies spawned. Love that teleportation. Oh my goodness. Legend. <laughs> you madman. Swab over here real quick. The PS Legend working on all that hard computer stuff thank you again so much for the subscription let me drop some tokens for you and oh my goodness a raid at the same time welcome raiders to john cadia let's see that was a little soybean appears there we go i think i nailed it how's it going raiders thank you so much for the raid welcome this is uh john cadia we're currently playing tunic a pretty intensely hard Zelda kind of experience. Uh, what were you streaming? Just chatting. So what were you streaming? <laughs> what you been up to? Thank you so much for the raid, dude. We got Grizzly Jaw, Necro Warrior. Make sure I don't miss anybody here. A uh, little soybean, of course. I hope you had a wonderful stream. Thank you so much. Tunic's going great. It's tough. I've definitely needed to ask for some hints from time to time just because like I didn't know where to go next. But I'm loving it. The graphics music just how cryptic everything is but it slowly drip feeds you the story and mechanics it's a really cool idea i like it tunic you don't say have you seen this game grizzly i'm really digging it so you started and finished a story puzzle platformer called oh juggler's tale i've heard of that one 
I've never played it myself, but I think I might have it in my Steam library. Uh, did you like it? Would you recommend that one? Oh, do you like Raiding into Tunic? You must know this game then. That's awesome. Let's see. And then figuring out what games are coming next. Oh, yeah. So what games this year are you excited to play? I'm curious. There's two new games that came out pretty recently I do want to stream. Um, As Dusk Falls, it's kind of a narrative adventure game. And Stray, that like cat platforming game, that looks really cute. So I do want to play both of those. And Tajay, so you are still new to this, but it looks like the gold just means you get upgraded versions. I, I think so. It, it brings your base version to the Shadow Realm. I think you're right, uh, Tajay. And you adore Tunic? Nice. Did you ever play Death's Door? I haven't played it yet, but it definitely kind of looks a little similar to Tunic. I don't think it's as crazy cryptic or anything, but that kind of third-person platformer, or not platformer, action game, kind of looked a little similar to me. So yeah, we're in the Shadow Realm right now. I'm going around collecting all of the... Um, uh, what do you call them? Those, those praying spots with the candle just to unlock all of our abilities. Just trying to remember where all those things are. Cat forming. There we go. <laughs> it's going to be a new genre. A new genre, Relentless. And uh, let's see. It was fantastic. And there's a horrible spider part that took you much longer than it should have. But other than that, it's only like two hours long. Hey, I might be able to do that in one stream. I like that. Soybean, I'll have to check that one out. And you are continuing with Boyfriend Dungeon during the week. And on next Saturday, you're playing Shady Part of Me. I've never heard of that one. Um, Boyfriend Dungeon, I remember when that came out on Steam. Nice. Now, what was tough about the spider bo boss battle? I'm curious. Is it just because you hate spiders or something else particular about it? Okay, so what area was this? I'm looking at the map trying to remind myself of where we were when we found this. The swamp. Old burying ground. Oh, oh, the burying ground. Okay, yeah, we can get back there. We just gotta find our way. I think we should probably backtrack. However, there might have been other things I missed. Hate spiders doesn't cover it. Swizzle, how's it going? You know, the worst spider incident I ever had in a game was actually Skyrim. But it wasn't just because they have giant creepy spiders. It was uh, because I was playing the game in VR. Can I climb this? Here we go. And there's one particular spot where the first time you're in a cave and a giant spider comes down and scurries after you. When you're in VR, it just really looks like there's a 20 foot spider coming at you really fast. And that, not much gets me, but that one kind of got me. That was creepy. <laughs> I had a very visceral reaction. Oh, nice. Those mushrooms are great. We need those for upgrades. Legend, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> I appreciate it, but there's better things you can do with your money, my friend. What's the... the maybe that is uh, soybean, but I was going to say, what's the worst spider experience you've had in the game? Oh, those are explosive ones. I thought that was something I could get stuff from. Okay. No, I think with this world all destroyed. We just have to kind of go back the way we came from. Oh, there was this old PC game called Magic Carpet. If you guys have ever seen that one, it had some pretty creepy spider experiences too. I was very young, but I hated them. I just remember you'd be like in a cave. It was really dark. And then all of a sudden you would set off a trap. You hear like a click. And then these spiders, man, they made this creepy hissy noise where they're like, <laughs> and there would be spiders everywhere. And you're just like trying to escape, get out of there, and just getting swarmed by these spiders. I hated it. Hated it. <laughs> Sorry, Swabian. This is probably, even just thinking about this might be too traumatic. I'll stop. I'll stop. And let's see. And Swabian, the spider part in that game. Oh, in this game, the forest area ended up becoming surrounded as they lunged at you. Oh, and the spiders are tricky in this game where they they just kind of like sneak back and they don't attack you until you get really close and they lunge. Okay, I'm going to stop talking about spiders.
Oh, is the pillar inside there not the one that opens the door? Oh, man. Wait, was there a pillar? I just walked right past Tajay? Hold on. I, I think I saw a pillar, but there was, like, nothing connected to it. Aw, Soybean, thank you so much for the follow. That's my boy Gus right there. I just gave him a haircut yesterday. He looks so good. So this thing right here kind of looks like an obelisk. Let's see, on the way to the candle. Oh, oh, in the other zone. Hold on, let me go back there. Let me check that out. With all the crazy colors and everything going on, I might have missed it. <laughs> Let's see here. So back down this way, right, Tajay? Gosh, I can hardly see where I'm going, all the white out. Yeah, so I think you saw one down here. I'm also not a big fan of spiders in real life. I'm not arachnophobic, but like, I don't want one on me. <laughs> So let's see, was it up here you saw it, Tajay? Oh, right before the fight, okay. Oops, I didn't mean to save it, that's okay. Oh wait, we did turn it on. Did we already do it? Well, that one's broken. We can't turn that one on. Yeah, I think you were talking about the broken one. Okay, I see what you mean, Tajay. So this one's actually working. You can see the power line coming across, but this spot right here is where it stops. So maybe this is what we have to fix, actually. This part right here is a little too broken. I can't pray it back to life. But yeah, this I think is where we need to get it fixed. But now I see what you were talking about. That's good, Soybean. These spiders suck, but at least you can handle them. How about Spider-Man? Are you good with him? <laughs> I love Spider-Man. I've streamed and dressed up as Spider-Man before, because I have a pretty cool Halloween costume. <laughs> Relentless, that's a perfect quote for almost every moment in this game. I always think I'm onto something, and then I'm way off. Okay, so let's get back to where we were. I haven't read that, Bambi, no. What is that? And then... Uh... Oh wait, what's the newest Marvel one? Or do you just mean like uh like the the main Spider-Man actor right now? Okay, so let's go back to the map. I need to get back here, which I think was on the major map. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I think it's was it down here? Down there. I think that goes to it, right there. Oh, oh, yeah, the big metal arms that come out. That is a little creepy, for sure. Yeah, there's just something about having that many arms and that many eyes. It's just a little too unnatural for us. We just nope the hell out of there. Still don't know what to do with that thing. I'm not sure if I'm able to use the teleporters in this world. I don't think they work. We have to kind of do everything the long way. Oh! Instruction piece. What do we got? A terrible power rises. Hero Cathedral. The world is thrown into ruin. A prison and a beacon. The heir, heir to the air, Holy Cross. That's the person we freed, I think. Awaiting a worthy successor, the golden path. That would be us. We would be the uh, worthy successor. Oh my gosh. Krem. 
<laughs> Six months, Prem. Thank you so much for that subscription. I appreciate that, buddy. Let me drop you guys some tokens. And for everybody new to the channel, just a little uh, reminder, I always forget to say this. Those little characters you see at the bottom of the screen there, everybody that follows the stream gets one of those avatars. And uh, when we drop tokens like that, you can actually type exclamation point jump and your character will grab them. And you can use those tokens like sound effects. You can use it to customize your avatar. If you save up a whole bunch of them, you can actually use them to uh, uh, redeem the next game we're going to stream, which has happened many, many times. Oh, for Halloween. That's right, Bambi. You're going to do a character for Renfair. So it's a black dress, poncho with bones to their anatomical places, skull face paint, bone jewelry. Kind of reminds me of um, some of those like Dia de los Muertos or whatever, the kind of uh, Day of the Dead costumes. That sounds awesome, Bambi. Nice. Nice catch, Tajay. And Judge, you got one too. Sweet. Speaking of which, actually, I usually wait to the very end, but I want to do this right now before it gets too late. Let me switch gears real quick. Speaking of giveaways, let's do a giveaway right now. So this is going to be a giveaway for a Steam key. And uh, don't let you know what it is. It's completely random. But let me get that loaded up. Just one moment. I always forget where this thing is on this site. There we go. Okay, so this, what I would say, is kind of like third person... person action adventure game and you can play it multiplayer as well you don't have to though so go ahead and type exclamation point ticket to join for a chance to win yeah monkey if you don't join in i, I don't tell you what it is so it is completely random <laughs> so you may just want to go for it however if it's a game you already have or it's just not your genre you can always just let it ride and we'll pick another winner now let me check something really quick before we do that i'll give you another minute to join a third persian action game <laughs> let's see here now this one's going to be kind of a surprise we're actually going to be able to do this one let me see if i'm correct in thinking that yes i actually have two keys for this game so we're going to grab two winners so your chances double for this one Hey, Leon, what's going on, Leon? We're making great progress in Tunic. We're not going to beat it today. Hopefully we can beat it on Tuesday, but we're making great progress in this game. Hey, Wonder, how you doing, Wonder? Happy Saturday. Yeah, I'll give you guys another minute to join. We got two entries so far, or sorry, two two winners will be called. We got eight entries. <laughs> Leon, I don't know what I'm doing. This is a giveaway for a Steam game. That's all I'm going to tell you. Oh, so you don't actually buy tokens, Soybeam, just by hanging out in the stream. The longer you're here, the more tokens you get. Actually, every 10 minutes, you get a token. So basically, anybody that's been in the stream for like an hour, you can do these giveaways. But most of the people in the stream that have been here for any amount of time, they have hundreds, sometimes thousands of tokens. So yeah, I like to make these all free. It's just to kind of like reward the folks that are around, help them out. Actually, you probably already have half as much as you need. Let's see, if you type exclamation point tokens and then your name, I think if, if you're the one doing it, you just have to type tokens. Yes, you're already over halfway there. <laughs> that's really close. With your hard earned time. That's true, Frost. <laughs> All right. I think it's about time. Going once, going twice. And the giveaway is closed. All right, we're going to grab two winners. So drum roll, please. Bam, the first winner, Leon Kennedy. Congratulations with a 12.5% chance. However, we have another key for the game. So for the same game, the winner is... Bambi, congrats to both of you. Let us see what you have won.
Nice. Congratulations, you two. I'm going to send you guys the Steam keys right now. Just give me one moment. And I'm just going to send you a direct message in, um, whatchamacallit, in Twitch, just to make it simple. That was Leon. Make sure I get your name correct. <laughs> a couple times, because there's so many names on Twitch, I've almost sent it to the wrong account. Go. All right, Leon, you got the first one. Let me go ahead and send you that. That was Monster Hunter World. Bam. And then Bambi. I know now you get the actual Steam one, Bambi. Way more convenient to play half the time. There you are, Bambi and Sappho. It's nice when I have uh, history sending you guys keys in the past because then it shows up in my list and I'm like, okay, I know I got the right account. There we go. Drowner World. Okay, they should both be sent off. So let me know if you guys got those direct messages. You guys should be good. Oh, do you already have the Steam one? So Leon, you got two options. If you have a friend that you would like to gift it to, of course you already got that. I don't know if that comes with the DLCs. You never know with these. I don't think it does. You can try to claim it. And if it doesn't work, it probably is the exact same thing you have. Um, you have two options. You can either gift it to a friend that you know would like it, or we can let it ride and pull another name. So yeah, let me know, uh, Leon. Yeah, I kind of thought it might be separate. Sometimes they have a game of the year edition, but I'm not sure if that one is. Oh, good, Bambi. You got it. Sweet. Yeah, but I always give you the option because you did win it fair and square. So if you know of someone you want to give it to, friend, family, or whatever, you absolutely can. Or we can just grab another person from the uh, the community. So yeah, let me know what you want to do there, Leon. Oh, so currently soy soybean, you can only get one per contest. I used to allow two, but I just changed it to one just to kind of make it easy so everybody has the exact same chance. Let's see, your key is scuffed. Wait, what do you mean, Leon? What do you mean by your key is scuffed? Or the one that you have isn't going to work? I mean, it probably just tells you, hey, this key is invalid. You can't use it because you already have it or something. I forget what the error message is, but I have definitely done that before where I tried to redeem a game that I had. Let's see, the first part is three. Oh, did I, did I copy it incorrectly? Hold on, let me try it again. Maybe I mistyped it. Let's see here. Oh, no, 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 Leon. The first part of that is not part of the key. It's Monster Hunter World. <laughs> I just typed MHW because I didn't want to type the whole thing out. <laughs> That's what it was. Yeah, exactly, Bambi. Yeah, it's kind of a my history thing. I also have a spreadsheet that I keep track of who wins every game. But yeah, that's <laughs> MHW is just Monster Hunter World. <laughs> I understand why you would think that, though. Speaking of watch, let me uh, add you guys' names into there. Nice, Bambi. Steam destroys my internet in a good way. Like, their servers are so fast. Every time I download a game from Steam, it just eats up, like, all of my bandwidth. But it downloads the games really fast. You could do that too, Leon. Yeah, I was going to say, I could also just call, uh, draw another name, but yeah. You could also just, first person that says, oh, I'd like it, raise your hand. Then you could just send them an instant message. Okay, I'll let that ride for now while you're figuring that out. Let me jump back into the game. That, close that. And what's cool is if you guys, I know Monkey says he has it as well. You guys can actually play together. Kick some monster butt. Okay, where were we? That's right, I was trying to get to very bottom place. Oh, I see from your friends. Perfect, Leon. Okay, nice. Yeah. And it's great because you already have it, so you guys can play together. That's awesome. Okay, so we're trying to get to this bottom right corner, and I am... where? Up there. Okay. So we got a ways to go. we got a ways to go. <laughs> Homework first, Bambi. <laughs> no games till you're done. Gosh, I don't miss those days. 
I did go back for my masters, so it, it was still a long time ago, but I remember getting back into the school groove and it's like, gosh, I don't miss this at all. I like school, honestly. I just don't like homework. Uh, we need to go a little bit further down here. So my master's is not the same thing I got my bachelor's in. Can I use this one? I might be able to take a shortcut there. So my master's is in systems engineering, but my bachelor's, which is, I think my primary focus was actually in um, computer science, so like programming, that kind of thing. But my work was offering this program where they made it really easy and convenient to get a master's while I was working. So I said, why not? Let's do it. I don't think we have a teleporter to go there, actually. Let me see if there is a spot. Where's that map? Here. No, there is one. Yeah, okay. So which one is it? The swamp. Actually, I don't even see the swamp here. Oh, I think it's the bottom right one. I think it's this one. <laughs> Try them all, Leon. Yeah, that's awesome. It's a great game, though. I have a copy. My wife has a copy. We played it together. It was super fun. Oh, that's awesome, Soybean. What are you planning on doing? Do you have like a, a particular position or anything in mind? Where are you going for? That's awesome. Oh, this is new. Is this the fox that murdered us? The air. The feet. Holy cross. All right. Get some more info here. Oh, I missed something. Only three more classes until your masters. That's great, Bambi. But you're getting close. You're getting very close. Keep it up. It's so easy to take a break. We played it for probably a good... 10 or 20 hours, Cram. We didn't finish it, but we got pretty... I felt like I got far. Maybe not. Okay, this is not where I wanted to go, actually. Now that I'm here. Did I pick the wrong one? I'm confused. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, that's pretty much the second half of what you're describing, Soybean, as my job. I'm pretty much all databases, systems engineering stuff. Okay, so that big cross is not the graveyard area. I don't think any of these are. So let's go back to where we were. I'm just going to have to go the hard way. Oh, I bet that game has a lot of DLC. I love it, but to be honest... The most important thing about your job is going to be your coworkers and your manager and that. And I've been at my job for 16 years and most people don't stay at a single job that long. But the reason I have is because of who I work with and the area. I have a lot of uh, friends and family in the area, so it works out really well that way. Okay, I think this will take me there. But yeah, my, my manager works at, looks out for me. He's always trying to get me promotions and raises and stuff. And the guys that I work with are great. Um, and convenient location, it just all kind of worked out. Everybody thinks I'm like CIA. I love it. <laughs> That's why you got to be good in this stream. If you're, if you're not nice to me, you might just disappear. <laughs> Okay, I think this is how we get to that graveyard area. There we go. Okay, so now we're in the old burying ground. Let's get to that map. So now I gotta find my way to that candle. Yeah, networking is tricky. I actually just recently had to re-up my um, Security Plus training certification. Man, I hated that. That was awful. That felt worse than a lot of classes I took in college, even though it's all crammed into like a very small program. It was a pain. It's just 
So much memorization. Get out of here. Where is that guy? Ouch. Okay, screw these guys. Oh, I can't get up there. This is going to become a problem very fast. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Run away. All oh, these things are unstoppable. There we go. Don't want too many of those guys on you at once. It's very tough to survive that. Okay, how do I get up that top area? We're really close. I'm right here. I just need to get up there. I think I need to be on the top area. Oh, we'll see you in a little bit, Soybean. Oh, that's right next to baby. <laughs> yeah, what game was that that we were playing? Was that Madison? Not Madison, that wasn't the baby one. Um, it was one of those first-person horror games, right? I feel like it was. Oh, this is the way. There's a ladder back here. Amnesia. That was it. Yeah. It's almost like the press F to pay respects. X to baby. Come here. Stop being a jerk. Okay, it's right below me. Wait, am I not supposed to be up here? I think I need to get down to that bottom level somehow. I've kind of forgotten how to do that. Maybe I have to go through this building and get down, and there's another exit over there. We already turned that off. Gosh, I don't want to fight through this place again. This place sucked. Ella B, welcome back. I think it's this way. Unfortunately, a lot of these enemies, when they hit you, you can't get your life back. It's absolutely brutal. I'm going to try to skip everything. We're really fast with our teleporter. Well, can't skip this guy. That dude's still coming after me. I definitely don't want to fight that guy. When those guys hit you, <laughs> you don't get your health back. Oh no, this goes back the way I just came. Never mind, that was just a big circle. Maybe it doesn't connect to the bottom, actually. Because that doesn't seem familiar. I think we need to find some way from down there to reach it. Can't reach that way. Unfortunately, we're going to have to go past those invisible jerks again. Let's see if we can be... Oh, actually, let's... Let's equip that stealth one. I don't know why I still have the gas mask on. Okay. Now we should be able to be stealthy. Except I might walk right into one of them and I wouldn't even know it. Okay, this might be the right way. 
a little bit too low. I just need to get up on those bricks somehow. I feel like I need to follow this. Ah, crap. I don't see another path up. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. I tried to uh, dodge. And instead it saved, because I was right there. If I can get up on these pillars, I can kind of get to all of them. How do I do that? There we go. Uh, we did it once, where I was jumping from one pillar to the other one, but I forget how I got there in the first place. How far back does it go? I wonder if we can tell from the map. Maybe there? I don't remember going that way. I just kind of need like a half ramp. I don't need to go to the very tippy top of that area. Like if I climb up this, way too high. I can't get back down to that other side. Anybody remember? <laughs> I don't. Oh, here's something here. Teleport over here. There we go. Okay, maybe that's it. How far does this take me? Oh, that takes me down here. Okay. No, that's not what I wanted. Can't get to that side. Oh, there is some stuff over here we missed, though. Nice! Did need that. Is that what I missed, Tajay? Oh, and even more chests. Wait, how do I get down? It's clearly right over there. <laughs> I walked all the way there, but it was just a little bit too high. Gosh, how do I get down? Are you really going to leave me here again? There's got to be a way down. I can only go up and down there. Wait, there's a chest there too. I think I see that chest there. Can't walk down this side. Maybe that's just to show you there's something there. Maybe you're not actually supposed to be able to climb that. Oh, there's a big chest here. I totally miss this whole area. What is that? Some kind of plant? Um, let's see what the name of it is. Perfume. Oh, that was the big one we missed? Thank you, Tashi. What the heck is perfume in this game? Would that be the opposite of the ringing bell? Like it attracts enemies to you? That doesn't sound like fun. I thought that, I thought that orange guy was gonna get up and attack me. Oh, he's got a big sword and shield. That's cool, he uses a cross as a shield. I like that. 
Ouch. There we go. It's really cool. The, the trickiest part, I guess, if I had to pick something I don't like, is sometimes it's almost too cryptic for my brain. Where I've definitely, luckily through stream, been able to get a couple hints. Because I definitely would have had to look at a walkthrough for a few parts. But otherwise, it's pretty brilliant. <laughs> Maybe they'll be our friends, Tajay. <laughs> Oh, that's true. I was playing Hollow Knight recently, which is everybody loves that game. But I got to a point where I had like lost a ton of experience from some silly oh my gosh, some silly mistake. And if you're not in the mood to redo stuff, those games can be painful. Oh my goodness, I got a lot of guys on me. This is not good. Ooh, the big guy can hurt his friends. Hello. Oh, he brings up out those little guys. Okay. That's not cool. Actually, you know what? Sh oh, no. I was gonna say I should have shotgunned all those birds, but he ended up killing them for me. Oh, not one of those guys. I think we have enough. Where is this guy? There he is. I think we have enough coins to get an upgrade. Quit running away. Just trying to kill this guy. There we go. Phew. Yes, Hollow Knight is so good, um, Soybean, but you gotta be okay with the Dark Souls mentality of if you die, you're gonna lose experience and progress. So there is a lot of replaying sections until you get good at them, which that's definitely not everybody's cup of tea. I think it's generally very rewarding when you can nail it. But if you're not in a patient mood, kind of like what Frost was saying, you can nope the hell out of there really quick. Let's see, you lose money. What do you mean, monkey? Let's see, oh, for um, Game Pass, Frost. Oh man, you can get so many good games cheap that way. And yeah, this is on Game Pass right now, isn't it? Oh, found a secret. Chest, nice. Oh, and Hollow Knight is only important later? Okay, I gotcha. I guess I called it experience because you use it to upgrade everything in the game, essentially. But I'm definitely not far enough where it feels useless, that's for sure. And I will say, sometimes in Hollow Knight, maybe because I just played Elden Ring, and Elden Ring is very generous with its checkpoints, there's been times in Hollow Knight where if you're exploring a big new area and you happen to go to a boss before you go to a checkpoint, boss destroys you, it's your first time learning their patterns, you lose so much progress. And it could be a little defeating. I could have sworn I saw another chest back here that I couldn't get. Here we go. Another one. Okay, what is this? Dagger strap. What did dagger strap do? Actually, if anybody knows what either dagger strap or that other new one perfume that I got, I'll take it because I don't know if I'm going to find out naturally. <laughs> that does happen, Frost. Yeah, sometimes you can get to an area where you're just like, I'm going to nope the hell away. I'm, 
come back later. But I've had a couple times where I've fallen down into a room and there was no way out. So I was like, oh, I guess I'm fighting this. And I got killed. And I just took that $500 or whatever I had and said, I'm not going to go get that again. It's okay. I donated it. Oh, it's a stamina recovery. Wait, didn't we already have a stamina recovery? I thought the anklet was stamina recovery. Or what's the difference between those two? And the dagger strap makes your ice dagger attack faster. And perfume, perfume, perfume is the stamina regen. So wait, what is... Is that my main weapon is an ice dagger? Or is this the ice dagger? I would assume Ice Dagger is the um, spell, right? Actually, that sounds pretty cool, what the um, perfume does for Stamina Regen. I do like that. That is the freeze. Okay. Oh, it's movement speed. I actually really like that. I like the movement speed. There's definitely times when someone's walking away like that, I have a hard time reaching them because of the movement speed. Where'd you go? Oh, you're up here. There you are. Okay, this is gonna drive me crazy. How the hell do I get up there? I just need to get up to this little small rise right there. If I can get on those posts, I could reach it. <laughs> Let's see. Can I climb up halfway and dash off? No, that would work if I could do that. What about the top of these stairs? Without going in there. Nope, can't do that. I could have sworn it's back here somewhere. Because I remember we, like, went along all that path back down to the entrance where the save point is. Maybe I should look at this. Try up here. Oh god, Axe Body Spray. Ah, uh, the, the, the odor of Junior High. Okay, so I can see all those things I need to jump to. I don't see a way up, though. Let me check back up here in the corner. Those things come back pretty far. I'm not sure if it goes past the... Um, save point, though. No, uh, this is going too far back. I don't think it's that far back. All right. It's got to be past all those invisible guys I'm just avoiding because I don't want to mess with them. Okay, back into the fire. So when I can find a way on those stones, we'll be good. It could also be on this side. There are those stones. Where'd you go? There you are. There's another one. Oh, two of them. Great. Hey, you're right there. Come here. The water helps a lot. Hitting these guys. Oh. How did I not hit him? There we go.
I need a deal. I'm not doing too good. Can I climb up here? Oh, up here. Oh, that was so close. This might be the hill I need. I teleport across. I'm back on the floor. How does that work? It seems to let me teleport down. But not across. Oh, you just... Wait, is that a ramp you can walk up? It's so hard to tell with this angle. It almost looks like there's a ramp. Okay, I'm, I'm where this is now. Oh, I can't cross at this level, though. You know what? I don't think that would work either, because this stone right here doesn't have any place to stand. So it's got to be on this side somewhere. Okay, let's just look meticulously. Okay. Race the steps. It goes back this way. Hey, nice, Ellenby. Good job. So what's the story with the city in your drawing? Can't teleport onto that stone. It also goes back this way. It just dead ends right here. Can I teleport down? Oh, right here. Is that it? No? That's not it. This thing's gonna drive me crazy, guys. I need to go look up a video online on how to do this. Oh my gosh. I'm getting killed here. Oh, I grappled you. Oh, I don't have mana. Okay. Hmm. if I could do this without pissing off the birds. I'm going to go back and save it. We've killed so many guys, though. Maybe it is in here. I don't know. Anybody remember? I do not know how to get back to that place. We'll go ahead and save it here. I'm going to try to rush through this without fighting everything. Oh, through the elevator. How do I make the elevator move? Is there like a switch for it? Is this it? Here we go. Okay, this might be it. Do you think it was where the birds were, Tajay? Let me get rid of these guys real quick. Yeah, I think it might... Let me try this elevator first. That'll get me down there and see if there's a path outside. If not, we'll check back with the birds. Oh, wait, there's a store here, too. Almost forgot. Maybe we should buy something. I feel like we got a lot of money. We don't quite have a thousand, though. I think this is a thousand. Can't quite afford it. I don't really need anything else. What's uh, the BTF, uh, Bambi? I don't know the acronym. Yeah, so this drops us off at this boss battle. We go down here. This might be how we get out of there. 
Oh, monkey. That was the um, that little plant, right? This is it. Oh, gosh. I wasted way too much time trying to find this. But I do want to retrace my steps going the other way and just see where it leaves me. Because I was remembering the exit, not the entrance. Oh, I already got this one. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? That was the first one we got. I just didn't even think about it, looking at the maps. Oh, is that like a maximum stamina thing? Hold on, let me see if we can find that. <laughs> that was painful, Tajay. That was a painful one. Oh, wait, I can't get back up there because we fell. Never mind. Next time we find a shop, monkey. I'll take a look at that one. Okay, so if that's not useful, where's the next handle? We got that one. We had already gotten that one. I don't see a candle there. Wait, is that it? I don't see a candle in the frog place. Is there a candle here? This place is huge. No candle there. Okay, so this one, I just don't know how to get to. It's like completely sealed up with that weird black barrier. And I don't know how to get past it. I don't know if I can get past it now. Maybe there's a trick to it. Or maybe I'm just not supposed to be able to yet. I don't see a candle on that map. I don't see a candle there. Yeah, the only candle on these maps I don't think I have, the rest of them are not maps, is this one right here. But the entrance to this place comes from here, and that area is blocked off. I don't know. Is there another path over there? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, so this is the path I remember doing, where you walk down here, and then you start teleporting from place to place. I'm just curious where it ends up, and why I can't reverse it somehow. Because yeah, I remembered all of this. Wait, that one's a dead end. If I can get into the forest one, Soybean with the information I have, then yeah, I think I probably do need a hint. Because it might just be an item I'm missing. I'm not sure. Okay, so this area right here, I couldn't have gotten up there very easily. This exit's over here. Aha! Yeah, I would not have thought of doing that. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if I can get to the shopkeeping. So we can get to the forest, but we can't walk there. There's a different way. Is it a clue I might have in the instruction manual? So, yeah, somebody gave us a clue that we talked to. What did they say? Because they talked about siege... Hero, fool, and... Oh, they just said secret key. That's right, fourth key. If I remember right.
Now, is there a teleportation spot there? Can I use that? Hold on. I thought there was one. Oh, I think it's Eastern Vault. Let's try the teleporter. Oh, absolutely, LB. Yeah, go for it. What, how, whatever way works for you. Okay, let's see if we can just teleport there. And I think it was this back one in the corner. Some of that's blocked off, but this one we can get to. Is this the area? I don't see us on the map. Maybe it is, and we're just not quite there yet. What is this going on? A siege engine. Okay, maybe this is where we want to go. I remember when they gave me a clue, they mentioned siege engine. I should save it. <laughs> we should definitely save it. Can't quite use this yet. Oh, I love your deep backstory to that, Elevy. That's cool. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so happy to hear that, Leon. Right on. I'm glad you found somebody that could use it. Okay, does this take me to where I show up on the map? Now we're here. Uh, we were up in that top corner. Maybe I was there. I just missed it. Scrappies. <laughs> I like that name, Elevy. Oh, interesting. Okay. So the candle I'm looking for is this way. There might not even be any bad guys here. Hero's Grave. Yeah, I don't know if this place even has resistance. Oh, not these guys. Anything but these guys. I'll fight anything. Oh, no. That's right. They come back. And they start taking your health away. Ah, oh, no. That's all right. We saved it. I am going to run past all these guys. I hate these spiders with a fiery passion from hell. And you can't even shotgun them because they're just going to multiply. It doesn't actually do anything for you. These guys suck. <laughs> They're so awful. <laughs> and they're not even like weak enough to like shoot with your fire blast. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was so close. True, then you still have to fight the first, what, three forms, Taje? Could be done. And then you just have to hope they all bunch together. It's way easier just to run past them. Which is the flower? Is that mana? Nope, that's our health. Nice. Oh, we got our full health bar back. Okay, so what am I missing here? 
the mushroom, and the tooth. Okay, we got two more, but I don't know where those are on the map. I feel like I've done all of the... candles that I can see on here. We did the quarry. We did that. That was the first one we did. Is there a candle here? I just can't quite see it. No, that was a big boss battle. That's not it. Any candles hidden here? Oh, that's right. There was a page specifically about the candle locations, wasn't there? This one, I believe. What is this for the tooth? It looks like it's in a tree. That might be the east forest. And then that one. I don't know where that is. So we still need the tooth and mushroom. That's it. Let me see if I see that symbol with the trees. They don't really have a designator or something. Oh, I totally know. And uh, the way I kind of play games, Soybean, is if the game's flowing pretty smoothly and we're making progress, I definitely don't want people to kind of kind of tell me when something's coming up before it happens so I don't miss it. I don't mind missing little things here and there. It's just my natural playthrough. But if I get to a point where I feel like I've tried everything I could think of a couple times and nothing's clicking, I definitely prefer someone to kind of nudge me in the right direction just to kind of keep the flow of the stream going. Okay, so we need to somehow looking at this, figure out what that means. And that one I'm not sure about either. Some place where it's storming? Maybe I haven't even been there yet. Does that icon with the trees appear anywhere else? And what about fools that have no idea and just spitting ideas? <laughs> well, that's actually okay too, Monkey. Because yeah, you guys are in this game with me. So if you have no idea what's going on, I love it when you guys throw out ideas too. <laughs> Tasha, I feel called out. No, I love that because we're all just brainstorming together. And for the people in the know, I love those subtle hints when they see we are running around in circles. Yeah, I don't see that little icon here anywhere else with the trees and the candle. I'm going to guess forest because we actually haven't checked the forest yet. So let's try going there. I did get tipped off on one secret place soybean that I would have totally missed. And it was where you can like change your outfit. I thought that was really cute. I'm not sure if that's the one you were thinking of. I'm totally going to run past these creatures again. Good. That was easy. <laughs> oh, that was the same one. I kind of thought it might be because that was really fun. Just a cute little hidden place which would be easy to miss honestly I wonder if there's anything else I can do here now that we have this teleport ability I bet there's tons of secrets we missed oh I already got that one okay but yeah I should try to find my way to the forest Do we have any coins? No. I 
feel like I have to try teleporting at every single one of those places. Is this where it teleported me in? No, it was up here. That's right. It's like, how the heck did I get here in the first place? You know, it looked like there was something else up this way. I think I want to check that out real fast. Gosh, this is so much better having our full HP. Let's see. Oh, I hope you have a good day too, Ella B. Thank you so much for joining us. And good luck in your uh, your drawing. This is where we fought the big spider, right? Look at that. Oh my goodness. Let me make sure I don't destroy this. Lime Tree Estate. I love that name. Lime Buff. How is it going, Lime Tree Estate? How was your stream? Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Let me give you a, a shout out there. Let's see here. Lime, you were working on also playing Tunic. How's your game going? I don't want to spoil anything for you. I don't know how far you are into it, but I think we're probably in the last quarter of the game or so. Okay. I didn't need to come back here, but there's something going on here. Something's up with this rock. Can I pray it to stop shaking? Oh, I am definitely fumbling around. Oh, you beat the game today. Congratulations. How did you like it? What is the deal with this thing? I don't think I have any other way of interacting with it. Can't climb on top of those rocks. There's got to be some secret to that. I doubt that's a glitch or it's just shaking. Or was it a glitch? It's not shaking anymore. Was that a glitch <laughs> for anybody in the know? Was there something going on here? So when you say golden path, you just mean like you just followed the exact path to beat the game and nothing else. The candles I need are the tooth and the mushroom. Not sure what that one was. I think it was glitchy. That was weird. I it, I totally thought it was shaking to like key me off that there was a secret in there. And this tooth, which I think is in the forest, not the where the tree guardian is, the big spider thing, but the other main forest area, which I think we might have a teleport yet. Oh, I was thinking golden path. Like, is that like a general gaming term? But no, it's like something specific to this game. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't tell me, Lime Tree. Okay, does one of these take me to the other forest? Not the Eastern Vault, not the quarry. I don't think any of these actually takes me to the forest, does it? Well, wait, the quarry looks like it has a lot of trees there, though. Kind of like that other picture. Oh, oh, look at that. I see the picture right there. So what is that? <laughs> I definitely like to fumble <laughs> a little bit. I like to fumble a little bit. This takes me to the main place. I'm so glad I can get there now. Oh, can I go this way? Aha! I think this takes me to the forest. Oh, that's so easy to miss. If I didn't look at the map, I wouldn't have found that. Okay, so I'm guessing this is where the next one is, but I'm not too sure if... Lime Tree, thank you so much for the follow. Hero's Grave. 
Yeah, so I'm really just trying to collect all the candles now so I can upgrade all my stuff back to normal. Are these guys new? No, those are the guys from the quarry. I hate these guys. Screw these guys. Oh, I can't teleport down there. It's like, can I just skip the uh, stairs? No. Oh, he just took me to a secret. Thanks, buddy. How do I get back there? I never would have known that was there if I didn't follow him. Little did he know he was actually helping me. And it looked like there was a way over here. Here we go. Nice. I actually have not been using those, so we have a decent collection of those bombs. I don't think I've been back this way. Now we're on the top of this building. Wait, was that it? Oh, this is to show you a secret on how to get up there. Okay. I can also cheat across here, though. Now, I don't think we have a map here, do we? Maybe that's one of the instructional pages I missed, but I don't think we've ever found one for this forest. Yeah, that doesn't show anything. So we're, we're just going to have to kind of explore. Let me get back. Let me find a save point, because we do kind of have to wrap up here pretty soon. we got some plans to meet up with some friends in a little bit. It's so satisfying, isn't it, Soybean? You know, that new dodge makes your ability to catch guys running away so much better. I don't feel like I have to waste magic on every ranged enemy that runs away. Oh, he's right here. <laughs> Never mind, we did get it. Jetpack, oh, the timing, the timing. How's it going, Jetpack? What you up to? Any uh, fun plans this weekend? So all we have is the mushroom, which looked like it was in some weird stormy area. I can't think of where that would be. So now my attack is back up. That's so funny. I was thinking that the enemies got harder, but that's not true. We just got weaker, huh? <laughs> Only in Junkadia, Sashima. <laughs> Have you played this game, Jetpack? I wasn't sure if you have beaten this or not. Okay, there's a save point. Before we do that, I just want to see if there's another way to get to... Do we have a coin? No. See if there's some place that looked like that stormy area. I'm actually playing Hollow Knight... on uh, off stream, but I'm playing Hollow Knight through uh, my Steam Deck, and I'm really liking it so far. It's tough, but I am really liking it. It's a little too long of a game for me to stream. I like to stream games a little bit shorter. Oh, oh, can I get to that chest? How do I reach it? Here we go. I'll take that. So bef before we go, let me check uh, our instructions and see if we do know of a place where the storm is. So the clue that we have is this right there. It looks like it's nighttime. I see lightning and towers. 
Have we been to any place like that? Oh, I can definitely see that lime tree. Yeah, Metroidvania-esque where, you know, you, you get blocked off by places, but you just need abilities and keys and stuff to get further. And jetpack. So you tried completing it and it made you mad. Wait, which one? This game or uh, Hollow Knight? <laughs> so where is that? Um, looking at the maps I've unlocked. It's not there. Under the well. No, nope, that was like a swampy, gross sewer. Dark tomb? Maybe, because it was dark? I don't remember lightning, though. A face in the picture? There's a face? <laughs> so no, I don't recognize a face. To me, I thought that was like a tower. But no, that's a face. The boss we killed? Wait. That's not the, the shopkeeper, is it? Shopkeeper isn't shrouded in darkness, though. He's like a big skeletal thing. It's like a goat face. Let me browse through this. Maybe there's a clue. My memory is hot garbage, which is really tough when you stream as well, because, I, you know, you take a few days off when you come back to it. It's all gone. I feel like that guy in Memento. Right there. Okay. This is it. That's exactly the picture we were just looking at. The Librarian Holy Cross Cathedral. Was that... Was that when we climbed up to like that big library on top and we fought that boss up there? I don't remember a storm, but I do remember going up there. I played a little bit of Fez. I liked it until I got completely lost and I did not know where to go next. I just kind of dropped it. The shopkeeper's cool. I thought it was a boss. Soybean, when I first ran into that shopkeeper, he was really creepy. Yeah, I mean, I don't really worry about cryptic games too much, though, because when I, I play games to have fun and relax, I don't want it to be necessarily super easy all the time. But if I get to a point in any game where I feel like I've tried everything, nothing's made sense then I'm just going to look it up. And it is what it is. It didn't click in my brain. I'm not going to frustrate myself too much. <laughs> it's kind of rhetorical, Lime Tree. Um, okay, let me go up there real quick. And then we got to get going. I think I can get there from here. Yeah, library is the bottom right one. Okay. Are you playing Fez? Another really tricky game I want to get back to sometime is, um, what was the name of it? The Witness. That game was really difficult, but really interesting. And I'd love to see more of the game. I just took a break from it. And that game is like impossible to get back into after you take a break. You really need to keep playing it until you're done. I think it's this way? No, we did that to turn on power. How did I get to the top of this place? It's been so long. Is it here? That's a dead end. Oh, look at those gems. Nice. Oh, cool. I would have easily missed that. Did you beat the witness, Jetpack? It, it's it, it's a weird puzzle game. It's not like your King's Quest or, you know, Gabriel Knight, those kind of uh, puzzle games. It's more like Seventh Guest or very hard logical ones.
Okay, that's not it. How do I even get to the top? I thought it was on the top of this place. Maybe I'm misremembering. I don't know how to get down there. Oh, here we go. Yeah, was there like another ladder around here? Oh god, no thank you. Yeah, I feel like I'm going the wrong way. So there was a ladder by the chair, but it has disappeared. The hell do I get up there then? Hold on, let me go back up. <laughs> I think I'm going the wrong way now. Oh, you hunt trophies, Jetpack. That's a different kind of uh, patience I do not have. That's awesome, though. <laughs> and you did fully beat Fez as well, Monkey? Good job. You know, they gave me a hint when I talked to them. The air, the feet, Holy Cross. I don't know if that's a clue on how to get up there. So you were saying that um, there was a ladder right around here. They broke it. And there's no place to like jump off to. I'm not sure. I think we'll have to come back to this. I think I'll have to come back to this. And it was a very cryptic game, but there's some side puzzles that would make me say, come on, I wouldn't have figured that out. See, that's... Whenever I look something up, if I know I wouldn't have figured it out, I'm never upset. It's just kind of like, ah, it is what it is. The game programmers were too smart for me. Other times, I feel like, oh, I should have got that. Why didn't I think of that? You just never know. Okay, well, this is probably a good stopping point. I'm guessing, let me know if you're familiar with this game. I bet we could beat it in one more stream. My streams are usually about three hours, so we'll be back here Tuesday night, Pacific time. I have a feeling we'll probably beat it then. Go ahead and wrap this up. Such a cool game though, oh my goodness. I had no idea there was this whole shadow world and you lose your abilities and you have to earn them back. 